what's up? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. <clears throat> Sorry for the late stream. I don't want to stream like this late, like, like again. Or it's like super late. Like right now, right now it's like for me it's 7:35 or it's 7. Oh, God damn, it's almost eight. <clears throat> yeah, not having that again. Uh, but yeah, today we're gonna be playing some Blaze Black. Uh, after some videos, uh, I saw like two videos before I started stream. I wanted to watch them before. I wanted to watch them. I'm sorry. I wanted to watch them. Let me just turn this off. I wanted to watch these videos. So hang on. We'll just pop on over here. This is um. I saw two videos that I, I um I, I got it really interested in. They they look really cool, and uh you know they're about fighting games. Obviously, one is how to start. Uh, how to get started in fighting games, um, and have a nice time by Polygon and, uh, by, this is, a this was just put on to, this is the algorithm guys kind of blessed them. I don't know who this person is. Guile when quotes, uh, quotes versus modes in non-fighting games. I'm really interested in this one because like versus mode and non-fighting games, like, um, uh, w w what do you, what do you call it? What's that one game called? Streets of Rage or Dr Double Dragons. I, I think they're pretty interesting. I, I think they wanted to just have like a versus mode just to have fun. But for the most part, it's like they're not really, in my opinion, they're not really made for like fighting games for like a competitive nature. So it's just like, it's fun, but it's like, you're not going to see it at like, uh, there's not going to be a tournament for it. And there's good reason for it. But I don't know. I, I want to get started with this one first. How to get started with fighting games and have a nice time. I like fighting games. I'll admit this. For a long time, I'd look at fighting games and I'd say, that looks so cool, but I don't think it's for me. Uh. I had done some <laughs> casual button mashing, but I never dove into the deeper mechanics. When I saw the gulf between what I was able to do and what others were doing, I told myself there was no way I'd ever be able to get there. Then a few years ago, I- The thing about fighting games is this. When you see someone on stage, if that person has as many buttons as you do on your controller. And they're showing you that you can get that good too. You just got to put the hours in. I decided to try for real. Was it worth it? Yes. I can tell <laughs> yes! you without exaggeration yes! that fighting games have brought me more joy than anything else I've put my gaming hours into. It's a distinct category of enjoyment unto itself constructed from the greatest pleasures of gaming the childlike joy of hitting buttons and seeing cool shit happen the yes. sober intention of outmaneuvering an opponent in a strategy game the dark soul satisfaction of studying a boss's patterns and exploiting their weaknesses it's meditative it's rhythmic it's sports it's yes. therapeutic it's communal it's the closest you're ever going to come to feeling like rocky or your favorite shonen protagonist it's made me happier and it's made my brain feel better it is absolutely worth it but it takes a lot of work, and looking at that from the outside can be overwhelming and intimidating. This guide is for people who have been studying that water and thinking about jumping in. Hopefully, you can use this video as a gentle, supportive push into the pool. Just, just, just jump in. Just jump in. Have fun. Oh, hey, Wild Phoenix. What's up? Uh, returning fresh off the pro. Oh, my gosh. Shut the fuck up. How you doing today? Here's my 10-step guide for getting into fighting games without losing your mind. Step one. Decide you want to do it. Yes! This one's kind of obvious, but it's also essential. Your desire to get into fighting games is going to be the thing that fuels you through the hard stuff. If you're fighting game curious, but you're not sure if you're ready to take the dive, there is some other stuff you can do to gradually expose yourself. For starters, watch some matches. Right. Reversal. Oh. Honestly, would recommend what anybody watching like um uh, fighting game matches. Like, not just to get your little cousin and little brother. No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, tournament play. Because you get to see, like, all the cool shit. And then you get to, like, study that cool shit. And then maybe try and imitate that cool shit. And then maybe you even make your own play style. One of my friends, I, this reminds me of, like, one of my friends, right? He plays uh, Ultimate. And um, this is when I used to play Ultimate competitively. <clears throat> Back before 2020 when uh, COVID was a thing, right? So... I, I remember for years, I would play with him, right? Because I knew him for years. I, I would play, and he would never get better. And I, I'll just sit there like, hey, bro, maybe you should, like, look up tournament matches. And maybe, and, you know, you'll you'll find something, right? Because I keep demolishing you, and it's I'm not even trying. Like, he's not doing any, he wasn't, it's not that 
I was just strictly better than him. It's that like he didn't really know how to play his characters, you know? He played them like everybody else, which is just like, oh, run up and dash attack, run up and maybe uh dash attack some more, you know, or like hold four smash, hold the guy that hit that he hits me. And I'm just like, well, maybe and he he would always complain about like me always beating him. I'm just like, well, maybe you should like look up tournament matches. And he's like, no, I want to make my own style. It's like, well, you're not you can't make your own style if you don't know how to play the game. You feel me? I'm trying to S, S rank in all the modern stages in Sonic Generations. Good shit. Um, uh, good luck to you, honestly. It's really exciting to see the top players just going nuts. Here are some of my favorites. Goichi versus Sonic Fox at Evo 2018. Yes! It's like an... It's so good. Goichi versus Sonic Fox has such a good rivalry. These two have such a good golden rivalry. Unstoppable force versus an immovable object. Uh, plan them right now, thank you. Goichi's defense is like an iron wall, but Sonic Fox's offense is just relentless. You know that Sonic Fox is gonna do some work as soon as they get an opening, so every mix up is just so tense. Lil Majin's whole Evo 2018 run was also great. Majin was an American player in a game that was historically Ooh. dominated by Korean and Japanese players. Uh, so far, I've uh, gotten seven. Uh, by the way, Black ex black Excellence, Black ex Excellence, let's go. Uh, they got good shit. I think it's like eight levels, right? So it's a combination of an underdog with the home field advantage. Plus, he's playing a super fun character with big, splashy moves. Monty! Yes! But it's not just about what the players are doing. Hearing the audience and commentators get excited and pop off for the big moments will help you figure out what's important and what to pay attention. Let it be known, commentators make, they they, they enhance the hell out of like historic uh, fighting game moments. They enhance the hell out of like fighting game moments in general, but like historic, uh, it, it, they, they just make it, they just make it better. And he's so scared of getting hit because he's got that V trigger. No, it's gonna hit here into the critical arc. Textbook. If you're in the mood to chill and watch some super thoughtful, accessible video essays about the underlying mechanics and philosophies of fighting games, pop on Gerald Lee, aka Core A Gaming. My personal favorite hmm. is why button mashing doesn't work. Also, follow some fighting game people on Twitter and Twitch and stuff. Cal Lady, Cal Lady, Cal Lady Gaming. It's, it's Cal Lady Gaming. Follow, yeah, yeah, most F. There's a lot of people doing really interesting streams and posting funny clips that are going to make you want to play. Whose idea was it to make his pubes his legs? We hear the mess. <laughs> trying to deck you with the refrigerator. You thought it was going to that shit off the wall. Let's get it. There will be a lot of in-jokes and terminology you don't understand, but you'll pick it up soon enough through context clues. And if you need a helping hand, check out the infill.net fighting game glossary. They have explanations of all the jargon. Step two. Pick a game. This is like the hardest step. You know how many fighting games there are? There are so many fighting games. One of the things I used to like, not like what people will say is just, I, I don't want to play a game that's dead. No, fuck you. You play a game that you like, and that's it. You keep the game alive. That's it. You keep the game alive. But it's such a hard step. It really is. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, even I'm, tr like, I'm practicing how to play Melee and uh, Dragon Ball Fighters because I love those two games. But even is, even still, it's like, dude, I, I, there's so many fighting games, bro. I don't think you understand. There's so many fighting games. Like there's fucking I, I there's something in me that wants to play Dark Stalkers, uh, Dark Stalkers, uh, BB Bonnet, which is one of my favorite fighting game characters ever. Uh, I, there's something inside of me that wants to play that character uh, again. And there's like and I'm, that's, that's that's like a game from like what the early 2000s or 90s or whatever the fuck. And then there's like, blot. Oh, what was it? Uh, uh, Guilty Gear Strive, and um. What's that one fight? What's that one fighting game? It has Ladiva in it. It's that one. Yeah, yeah, I like Ladiva. She's cool. A frequently asked question among the fighting game curious is, what's a good fighting game for a new player? And the, the answer is yes. The definitive answer is literally whichever game you're interested in. <laughs> so serious about this. You need to follow your heart. Look at gameplay trailers, watch some big matches. Whichever game makes you feel the spark is the one that you should chase. That spark will be what fuels you when things get hard. 
I love martial arts cinema and pro wrestling, so for me, the game that grabbed my attention was Tekken. Yes! The pace of animation is a bit slower than this stuff in 2D fighters like Street Fighter or Guilty Gear, so it was kind of like watching a choreographed fight scene from the movies in Wrestling I Love. Before I understood mid-low mix-ups and frame data, I understood that King did a sick running power bomb, and I loved to see it. That's all you need to know. That's all you need. Does it look sick? Yeah, play it. You gotta find your access point. You like anime? You like nasty gore? You like ponies? Get it. But while you're following your heart, you do need to pay attention to one annoying wrinkle. There's gonna be a fucking Steve. <laughs> Every fighting game has a Steve Minecraft. There, there's gonna be a Bayonetta. And, and you're gonna wanna love the game to get through that Bayonetta. <laughs> Because of the old COVID, you're mostly going to be playing online. Okay, that too. Yeah, that, that's why I stopped playing Ultimate, because that. And not all games have great net play. In games that use delay-based netcode, response times can be sluggish. The good news is that- it Oh no, Fighters is getting rollback, baby. So let's, 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 uh, th this video is about to age poorly, thank God. If you're new, you probably won't know what you're missing out on until you taste that crisp offline stuff. If you know that you're mostly going to be playing online, consider choosing a game with rollback netcode. Rollback is an ingenious netplay solution that pretty much eliminates the sluggishness inherent to online fighting games. Yep. If you want a cool explainer on how it works, check out this video by Core A Gaming. Here are some games with pretty good netcode. If you're not sure if a game has rollback, just Google it, and you'll either find a bunch of blog posts like Punch Kicker as rollback, or a bunch of Reddit threads like, how come Punch Kicker doesn't have rollback? <laughs> Death Creek gearing up. Another common question is, what do I need to start playing fighting games? I was about to say the fighting game, but no. One of the girls who I used to uh, go to tournaments with did not own Smash 4. And she used to get like pretty like good placements in Smash 4. I remember this. Like, I, I, I remember, like, I was talking about, hey, well, why don't we all go to your place and we'll play Smash 4? And she was like, I don't have that game. And I was like, shut the fuck up. Are you serious? No, no, she, she, she was just that good. And the good news is if you play other types of games, you're good to go. You need a console or a PC and a controller, and that's it. Point. Also, a good internet connection. More on that later. You might think you need a big fancy fight stick, but there's really no direct correlation between performance and equipment. Lots of the best players in the world grew up using readily available console controllers and still absolutely kill with them. And the skills and knowledge you develop using one type of controller are totally transferable. There's just a short recalibration period where you need to develop some new muscle memory. That said, if you have the resources and the inclination, fight sticks can be a lot of fun. Fight sticks are really cool and they're fun and I want one just so I can hang it up. But I mean, like, fight sticks are like any other controller. If you're used to it, then you're good. But if you're not, it'll hinder you. And you'll, you'll have to, like, relearn how to play the game just so you can play that on that fight stick. And that's it. That, that, that's all it is. Like, um, with fight sticks, I would only recommend it for people who, like, they uh, grew up in arcades and they know how to play on arcade sticks. Me, personally, I'll admit this. As much as I did play in arcades, I mostly play fighting games on, like, my PS2. You know what I'm saying? My PlayStation, my PS2, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Rival Schools and uh, Bloody Roar 1 and 2, the Tekken series, Street Fighter, uh, Super Smash Bros. 64. Like, I play mostly on... all. Most of those games are, like, on, um, on a PS2 pad. You know what I'm saying? A regular controller, which that could easily be transferred to, like, I don't know, an Xbox 360 controller. They're tactile and hefty, and they make good noises. Ah, they're so good. So let's talk about them. Most of the sticks you'll find are ball top square gate, meaning the joystick moves around in a square frame. It makes it easy to lock in important fighting game positions like down back. You can just physically feel it. Another less common configuration is bat top K lever. These ones don't have a gate, and they use a rubber grommet to return to the neutral position. The result is that they're a bit spongier, and you gotta be more precise with your inputs. Unless you're planning to go all in on Tekken or you grew up on these, I'd steer clear for now. Finally, hitbox-style controllers replace oh, yeah. the joystick with more arcade buttons. They take some getting used to, but they allow for extremely precise inputs. 
but maybe the biggest benefit is that they're pretty damn ergonomic. Requirements, passion, and a big ball energy, a little bit of money brain. <laughs> Cranking on a fight stick can stress out your yeah. shoulders and fingers. My elderly thumbs don't have what it takes to mash on a D-pad anymore. You, you have to stretch. I'm not kidding. When you play like fighting, if, if you play like a lot of video games, draw, use your hands a lot, period, whatever you do, I'd recommend stretching a lot. Uh, that's not a joke. Just please. A hitbox is comfy and it lets you nail your inputs without straining. Most controllers work with PC and one type of console. If you ever plan on attending a local event, I'd suggest going for a controller that will work with the PS4. That's what they're going to be using there. Tuning your control setup is fun and it can become a hobby of its own. But the biggest message I want to give you is do not gear gate yourself. Don't put an artificial boundary between you and the thing you want to do. You're just denying yourself the pleasure of playing and getting better. But let's talk about a real boundary. Step four, I've checked. I've checked. Monkey brain, I can't spell. <laughs> if your connection to your opponent is not steady, you're simply not going to have a nice time playing with each other. Yep. You'll be more likely yep. to your execution, but more importantly, it'll just be sluggish and jittery. So most of the online fighting game community adhere religiously to the Ethernet cable. Because yep. direct wiring takes a big failure point out of the networking pipeline. The anti-Wi-Fi sentiment online is severe enough that it will affect your experience. Lots of games have Wi-Fi indicators, and opponents are less likely to accept a match with you if they're worried that you'll have a dodgy connection. That means you should get wired up. When I had roommates... It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. They're like, Ethernet cables are like eight bucks. Like the really long ones, the 50 feet really long ones, uh, they're like 50 bucks. Uh, no, wait, I'm sorry. They're like eight bucks. I'm not kidding. They're like eight dollars. USD. I would run cable down my hallway when I was playing and then coil it up when I was done so our common spaces weren't a constant tripping hazard. You can also hang it up on your walls. Like, they come with uh, the one I got, at least. Uh, that was like $8. It came with, like, a bunch of, um, both of them. They came with, like, um, like, like little staple things you could put in your wall so you could, like, have them travel up your wall so no one trips over it or anything like that. This might involve some negotiation and compromise, but it's absolutely worth it. Step and I mean, like, if you're rooming with a bunch of gamers, we can all understand. Ooh, we we could get it. We understand. You know what I'm saying? I understand, bro. Wild Phoenix? Oh, I got you. I got you. After this. Five, two, your fighter. At the video? So I got you. Who are some good characters for new fighting game players? <laughs> uh, Me personally, okay, I'll say it before they, they say anything. Me personally, whenever I play, like, a fighting game, I try and go for the... I try and go for the Ryu, or at least someone close to the Ryu, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to learn, me personally, I'd rather learn the fighting game. I don't want to learn the character, you know? Like, if you play, like, I, I would say, like, Lucina and Ultimate, you're going to learn how to play the, you're going to learn how to play the fighting game. You're going to learn how to play the game. But if you play, like, I, Kazuya? I would say like Kazuya, Steve, Pikachu. You're gonna learn how to play Kazuya, Steve, Pikachu. You know, for the most part, at least. The answer. And I, and I I would say like I, I'd rather learn the fighting game than anything else. And that's just a practical way of looking at it, because it's like you know, there's also people who are like, hey, just go for the dopest looking fit. Yeah, yeah, and that's honestly valid. It's just that's that's just how I do things regardless of the game is whoever you think looks cool okay that's too. yeah again your enthusiasm is going to be the emotional well from which you draw the motivation to grind out combos and do the difficult work of learning yeah yeah and you don't always have to pick the ryu of the game to learn the fundamentals yeah yeah you know what <laughs> yeah yeah they kind of called me out <laughs> example when i started tekken 7 i played king because I liked that he was a huge kitty cat man who did all my favorite wrestling. Moves. I fucking love huge kitty cat man. But he also has a big bloated move set that he's picked up over decades of Tekken games. He's got some complicated inputs, and as a grappler, he approaches combat differently from most of the roster. But I liked him. I liked the way his moves looked. I liked his vibe. So I had the motivation to put in the work. Later, when I picked up Guilty Gear Strive, I went with Soul Bad Guy because he's kind of the re that's his name so bad guy it's so badass you of that 
that game, and he was really strong at the time. I thought that having a high tier character who exemplified the fundamentals of that series would help me learn. I don't blame anybody for picking the top tier first off rip, because you get to find out the power. So I tried for a while, and then I fell off and told myself maybe Guilty Gear wasn't for me. A few months later, I came back and I tried the character who I really wanted to yep. play all along, and it all clicked. I loved looking at my little guy. I God, he is a grappler, man. Oh, he doesn't deserve rights. I loved his gigantic hands and his- But I do like this guy. His booty drop. And I love busting. <laughs> I, I was motivated to play and learn. Don't let tier lists or meta discussions dissuade you early on. Pick who you think looks cool. I literally cannot say this enough. That's one of my favorite things. I, I would like usually go to like Dragon Ball fighter tournaments or street fighter tournaments at my old local back in North Carolina. And uh, one of the things that I love is whenever like someone was learning a new fighting game, someone would like somebody like, you know, those would be like, hey, so who should I pick? Who's like the best character in the game? And those would be like, no, just pick who you think is cool. And that's it. Don't worry about tier lists. It's not going to matter. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to matter to you as of right now, at least. Just don't worry about tier list, period. Just pick who you think is cool. I've always had, uh, had, had a question this I've always had uh, had this question about did you hit your head while Phoenix King is, is he a kitty cat man oh he's he's a man with a mask he's a he's a professional wrestler also Mega Man let's go Mega Man Learn how to play. like me personally I just go for like the Rio of the game or at least someone close to them as long as they're cool I'll play them like I start I'll try to balance it up with like are they cool you know but for the most part I want to learn I want to learn the fighting game and not the game itself or I want to learn the fighting game and not the character itself, you know? Because it's like, if I, say if I were to play, like, uh, Melee Ices, right? And I was just the fucking go at grabbing you and killing you. I still, uh, hey, look, I will wobble the fuck out of your ass. You know what I'm saying? Say if I was like that. But, uh, what if I wanted to play another character? What if I got bored of just grabbing you and killing you? Uh, and I wanted to play like, I don't know, fucking Mario or, uh, Sheik or whoever the fuck. Well, like, it, it's going to be a little harder for me to do that because all I know how to do is grab you and kill you, you know? So that's why well, that's why I want to learn like the Marios and the Ryus and I don't know, it, just me personally. Because I feel like if you were to just jump into like, if you were to just jump into a fighting game, like if you jump into like Ultimate and you want to learn, you want to play uh, Pichu, uh, who's a complicated character, uh, Pikachu? Sure. If you want to learn Pikachu, you're not you're not really gonna ha not really gonna understand a lot. I don't I don't know. Once you've selected your little guy, hop into training mode and start hitting buttons. See yeah. what they do. See yeah. How it feels. Some games like Guilty Gear Strive and Mortal Kombat have decent tutorials that explain fighting game fundamentals and include challenges to test your knowledge. Any but more fighting games need this. Every fighting game needs this. You you put in funky little anime shit. I I want something to explain to say funky little anime shit. Fighting game worth playing will also have a full command list in the start menu. If you like what you're feeling, hop onto YouTube and search for some character guides. This is a really cool thing about fighting games. They are complicated. There are hurdles to overcome, but that complexity is also what makes them so satisfying and fun to play. And people want other people to share in that fun, so they'll put in hours and hours and hours of work to make wonderful guides. Yes, because everybody wants you to play their game. It, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's one thing that like f a lot of fighting game players and like say I don't know a fucking hardcore Star Wars fan have something in they they indifferent on. Fighting, like, Star Wars fans, they, they, a lot of them are just like, no, you, you're not allowed to get into this. They, they'll get keep the fuck out of your ass. You know what I'm saying? But, like, fighting game people, people who are in the HEC, like, fighting game players, it's like, we want you to play our game. Oh, my God. Of all the fighting game tournaments I've been to, not one has ever, like, I'll just go there just to hang out. You know, I, I don't have to play the game. I don't have to, like, know how to play the game. I don't have to be good. You don't have to be good to go to a fighting game tournament. You can just go, you know? And I'll just go there. I'll meet some people. I'll talk to people. Dap everybody up. You know what I'm saying? And everybody wants me to learn that game. They see new people. It's like, yo, cop on over here. You know what I'm saying? They want you to learn that game. And I think that's so cool about that's that's something so cool about fighting games, man. Like it's something that like 
whenever someone comes to like a Smash tournament, you know, I, I'll, I'll like introduce them tomorrow. I'll try and like teach them about a bunch of different things and shit. You know, it's, I don't know. It's join the club. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. We want you to join. We want you to suffer with us. <laughs> we want to see you get better. It's such a cool thing watching someone like know almost nothing about the game. And then you just watch them get better and better and better at each tournament. It's so cool. Like and subscribe. Character guides are great. Looking at your move list in the game is helpful, but it doesn't instruct you on the overall strategy for that character. That is a streamer, isn't she? I, I don't know much about this character. I don't know who this character is. That is a streamer. <laughs> Let it be known. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That is a streamer. Good guide will highlight. She has fans the most important tools your character has and how to use those tools to win. When you watch a guide, don't expect to internalize everything all at once. That's a ton of information and it's just not realistic. I've watched the same guides over and over again over the course of weeks, months, and even years. Every time I rewatch, I'll notice the things that I've learned and incorporated into my play and I'll make note of the things that I still need to do. Mm -hmm. In terms of written resources, that's gonna depend on the game you're playing. Guilty Gear and other Arxis games have comprehensive guides on dustloop.com. A lot of Tekken info is in Google spreadsheets that get passed around on Reddit. Figuring out where your game lives online is just a matter of Googling. As you watch and read, hop into training mode and work on a few bread and butter combos. Don't worry about optimizing yet. You need bull! Bull labbing! Bull! Raw heavy! Just raw heavy! Develop your muscle memory nah, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can hit your combos at all. A few days after I picked up Tekken, I got on Twitter and posted a video of me hitting King's most basic, unoptimized combo. I did it, I might have said, and a passing commenter might have asked, did what? This will be a pattern <laughs> that repeats over your time in fighting games. That is such a bad thing in Smash Ultimate. It, it, Sm Smash players are like really bad at that, where it's like they'll hit, someone will hit like a basic combo and s they'll, everybody will shit on them. It's like so many people will shit on them if it's like that, if it's not like the most optimal, Fucking stylish shit. It's it's so bad. I I, I will admit that. <laughs> You're gonna put a lot of effort into mastering things that to outsiders appear inconsequential and to experts insignificant. But that doesn't mean it's not an accomplishment. Good job. But nailing combos only accounts for a tiny, tiny percentage of what goes into playing a match. And the only way to start figuring that out Neutral is to fight. Step seven. Fight. A human. That's such an important, important thing. A human. Fighting a computer is very different. And it's so, such a worse experience. Like, you know, it's not just that the, the it's a computer and it can only do so much. It's, just, it's, it's a computer or it can only do so much, you know? Computers can't mix you up. On purpose, at least. Sitting here on this screen for the first time can be scary. I mean, maybe not for you. Maybe you're some sort of real fucking cool guy. But for me... <laughs> Not knowing what would happen when I hit that matchmake button was nerve-wracking. Another real human being is about to see you fumble around with your buttons and drop your combos and forget to block in real time. But it's okay. It'll be fine. As intimidating as that human-to-human -human connection is, it's also absolutely core to the joy of fighting games. Now, I'm not saying there's no value to fighting the CPU. Fighting a CPU is like this. You learn what that other character does. You just learn the buttons. That's it. That is it. You just learn what they can do as a button. You know? It is a good way to keep learning your own character's moveset and develop muscle memory. Okay, that's true. It can also help you familiarize yourself with the capabilities of other characters. You can learn that Sagat... They just keep explaining shit that I... God damn it. <laughs> this big kick and this upper cat and... Whoa, two different fireballs. But once you've mentally logged that stuff... There's not much more it can do to prepare you for fighting a real person. Despite advances in fighting game AI, the CPU won't string those moves together like a human opponent, and fighting a robot is just not as fun. Mm -hmm. So take a deep breath. You can't really shit talk a robot. But a human on the other hand. Set your expectations low and hit that matchmaking button. One thing that, one thing that I will always recommend to newer fighting game players is this. Uh, the match doesn't matter. The match practically does not matter you're not playing for money you're not playing for top eight placement at a tournament you're not playing in bracket or anything like that just have fun you know just just go in there have fun that's it uh there's no money in the line so doesn't matter you're just learning so not just that like it doesn't matter 
it's also have fun and just press, just do wild shit. It's like, don't go, don't always go for like the practical shit. Go for like the shit that's just like, hey, what if I hit this button instead? You know, let's, go, let's do that. Or one of those matchmaking buttons. Most fighting games are going to have a couple of options. So let's go over those. Ranked matchmaking tracks your performance and skill using a bunch of different metrics, then attempts to match you against opponents of the same skill level. Usually there's some sort of meta progression here, as you earn new titles or badges, or in the case of Strive, literally move towards the top of a tower. Cool. The obvious pro here is that as a new player, you should be paired up with other new players, so you'll actually have a chance of winning, and winning feels good. The con is that even- That's a streamer. Th yeah, that's a streamer. <laughs> Play for money, you say? Yeah, go ahead. Money match somebody. No, money matching, I'm not even kidding, is a good way to get better. Like, once you're at least comfortable with the game, it's like, it puts it puts you, when you have something on the line, you play a lot, you play a lot better. Or worse, sometimes you just need pressure, you know? Like, when you put something on the line, you play, you play differently, you know? And honestly, yeah, you do need some, you sometimes do need some pressure on you. When you're fighting for fake online points, that sense that you're being evaluated changes everything. <laughs> Getting bumped down a level after a losing streak can be really demoralizing. It also changes the behavior of your opponents. Still haven't transcended humanity. Because they are trying harding. They are tryharding. When you play for points, those little fake online points, whether it's GSP or whatever, GSP on Ultimate or whatever the fuck, they are tryharding now. You lack discipline. Separating your self worth from your performance can be tough, and it makes some people act really silly. It can cause people to get obsessive about their win rates. They might duck you in matchmaking if you play a character that they have a hard time against. They might bail out of a set the moment they lose. They might send you nasty messages. Quick tip on this if you're worried about getting shit from toxic players. Lock down your message settings ahead of time. Now, I know I just listed yeah. a lot of cons that make ranked sound like shit, but it's actually fine. The other option is unranked. Here, the matchmaking will just stick you with another player. Any other player. Or you'll meet up in some sort of virtual arcade setting. Unlike ranked play, there's no digital clout on the line, so people are much more likely to play long sets. That's a good thing. It's so nice. It's so nice to like play not just a couple of matches where it's like, oh, they outright lost to you and they're going to leave. Just because they're trying to protect like that fake ass, them fake ass points, you know, the GSP or whatever. It's so nice to play against someone and they just want to play. This motherfucker came over here to scrap. I love that. I love that. In fighting games, even at the highest level of play, there's always an adjustment period between opponents. And there's also, yeah, yeah, there's like, even in like um, tournaments or whatever, someone who's like way super good. There are a lot of players who don't want to face another player. And it's just straight up like, hey, if I fight this person, they play a character, they play have a play style that I'll lose to. Pro players have the knowledge and experience to tune up quickly, but for beginners, it takes longer. Let's say your opponent is using a technique that keeps blowing you up. You might not have time to run to a web. How's that not a low? How's that not a that that's a low? Dead ass? Site and look up the frame data, but in a long set, you do have more opportunities to rummage through your toolkit and try to find something that'll solve your problem. And if you find a solution, you have the chance to test it out repeatedly Ooh. and start burning it into your muscle memory. The most obvious downside to unranked matchmaking is that you might get paired up with somebody who is way, way better than you. That's, in my opinion, a really cool thing. I, I like seeing people beat the fuck out of me. I, I actually think it's really cool when someone can, like, outflank the I, I Just out, outpace me at every single step. Because it shows me that, oh, wow, I have a long way to go. Cool. I, I'm nowhere near done playing this game. But that's not really a downside, in my opinion. Losing 20 matches to a very experienced player. You can, like, learn a lot. But, like, you got to be careful because it's not just that, like, you get better practice from a much better player. Because, like, a lot of times, um, like, I I'll play against someone who's, like, much, they're, they're less experienced than I am in Ultimate, right? And, I'll, and the only thing they're practicing, because I'm beating the fuck out of them, the only thing they're practicing is this, how to DI. 
That's it. Defensive DI. The SDI, DI. That's all they're practicing. And I'm beating the fuck out of them every single, every step of the way. It's like, no, you could get better practice with someone around your level, though. You know? I'm playing this guy in Showdown, and I'm just screaming in my head, why won't you switch? <laughs> You're learning then. Good. Is a great way to learn. You learn which of your reliable strategies aren't really viable against better players, and you get to see the strength of good fundamentals. And you'll see something that you are very unlikely to see in the beginner ranks. The power of not pressing buttons. Yup! When I started playing unranked Tekken, I would fight opponents who felt like absolute brick walls. They would just block, block punish, and whiff punish. Every loss was the result of me overextending and using unsafe options. So I tried to emulate their style, and gradually, I got better. I still love hitting buttons, though. <laughs> uh, both ranked and unranked are valuable. Yeah, it's, uh, valid. Shit, you, you press a button, your character does a little funky little move. Yeah, that's, that's totally valid. Shit. If you stop having fun with one, try the other for a bit. And on the topic of having fun... It's real. It happens. Have fun. At the end of God, I wish that were me. Of a fighting game match, you win or you lose. There's no teammates to blame for not pulling their weight. Mm -hmm. There's no XP meter sliding up to reward you for your participation. That's one of the main things that, like, that, that's one of the main reasons why a lot of people do not play fighting games because they have you're forced to blame yourself, you know. And you can sit there and try maybe blame the character, but like you're gonna have to play that character again, bro. You, you gotta, you, you kind of have to for you kind of have to blame yourself. That's on you. You will, beyond a shadow of a doubt, lose a lot. Self-doubt and frustration can feel overwhelming when you're in the thick of it, but it is all a part of the process <laughs> of getting better. So here are a few tips for getting through it. Separate your self-worth from your performance. Oh God, that's so important. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I can't tell you how many people I've made feel bad about like, uh, like whenever I'm, whenever I'm playing with someone, right? And I'm, I'm teaching them how to play or whatever. I, I, I will, they will get like fucking hurt. They will get like really hurt in their feelings. You know what I'm saying? They, they'll, they'll like tie their self, like, like this, like this little flashy little message says, separate your, they'll, they'll like tie this, uh, their self worth with their performance. And it's just like, they'll get mad that they're losing to me. I'm like, bro, uh, I played this game way longer than you have. Obviously you're, you're going to lose, you know? And, and it's like, you're not. You're not your game results, you know? You're not. Okay, I know this is kind of like saying stop being mentally ill, but it still needs to be said. <laughs> you are not your win-loss ratio. Oh, sweet. Getting demoted doesn't mean- I feel like I-, I God, it, feel, it sounds like I watched this video before. I promise you I've not. <laughs> you suck as a person, even if it feels that way. And if you start feeling that way, it's time to take a damn break. Taking a break doesn't just let you cool off. It makes you better. When your hands are off the joystick and you're doing something else, your brain keeps gently churning on those situations, looking for the solutions that you couldn't find in the heat of the moment. Yes. Your body is rewiring neuron path. Me at three tournaments. <laughs> We're playing to have fun and learn at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to lose every now and again. This shit happens. As long as you have fun playing that fighting game, then losing doesn't really hurt you much. It's just a thing that happens. Pathways to make your execution smoother. And that, that's why I go for dumb shit on uh, while play, well, playing like ultimate in friendlies. And I don't care. If I lose, I lose. Who cares? Better. Playing fighting games feels a bit more like a traditional skill-based hobby like playing guitar. There's a base level of effort and self-direction you need to get enjoyment out Sick. of. Sick! That means that you won't always have the mental energy to do it. And that's okay, don't force it. A break from fighting games can be a couple hours or a couple months. The games will still be there when you get back and your body will remember what to do. Watch replays. God. Watching replays is the hardest thing. No, 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 let me, let me be clear. This is the hardest thing in the video. Watching replays, not just, no, let me rephrase it. Not the ones, not the ones that you win. <laughs> let, let me be clear. The ones that you lose, the one, the game, the, the matches that you lose are the hardest ones to watch. They, they are awful. Oh God, it's such a struggle. Oh, 
Because when you win, it just feels good, doesn't it? You just see all the cool shit that you did. You see all the mistakes they made. It's like, oh, yeah, look at me wave dash back and I right, force right the fuck out of him. Oh, man, just look at me whip punch that fucking 2H. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? It feels good, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, when you lose, you have to watch you get baited out. You have to watch you get hit with that 2H, you know? This one is so hard. It's like hearing your voice in a recording or seeing yourself on video. Uh, do I really do that? You do. It, it's, it's like, damn, who the fuck is this gremlin playing? And, and then you got to look in the mirror like, oh, it's me. But it's so valuable and you can't neglect it. Most fighting games keep a log of your most recent matches with the ability to play them back. You should take advantage of that. Seeing yourself play matches. Uh, no, 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 It's so valuable. Uh, elderly victim, trans girl Tom Tom Hanks. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> hey, go ahead with your best uh, trans girl Tom Hanks. And you can't neglect it. Most fighting games keep a log of your most recent matches with the ability to play them back. Ooh, and you gotta look back and just understand full damn well. Oh, I didn't take that. Oh no, Doctor, remove my cringe inhibitors. You should take advantage of that seeing yourself play can help you recognize habits that you want to correct it can also help you appreciate what you do well and what you want to do more of and when you're feeling really brave take the next step show your gameplay to someone else and ask them for tips but before you can do that first you need one of my friends uh julian you'll see him in chat every now and again is uh is what is my coach right it was my coach in ultimate and um they would, uh, I mean, they're really good. If you ever want to learn how to play Ultimate, I honestly would recommend hitting up Julian. I'm not kidding, you know. Uh, we would have watched back my uh, tournament results. You know what I'm saying? We would watch back the Vaz and shit. Oh, I used to get shat on, bro. Like, he, he would, like, sit there and just compliment. Uh, he, he'll tell her how it is, you know what I'm saying? So he'll compliment on what I did right, and he'll shit on me for what I did wrong. You know what I'm saying? I he oh I, I used to get shot on, but that was the easiest part. Honestly, someone shitting on me, someone like telling me how it is, someone telling me where I did right and where I did where I fucked up at, is honestly easier than watching me, than me watching it by myself. You know, it's like watching a horror movie with a friend. You know, <laughs> oh no, here it comes. No, no, ah, oh, I'm down there. No, why did I do that? Ah, oh, I died. Ah, oh. you know, that's that's pretty much it. Community and competition, one of the best things about fighting games, baby. Community and competition. Most of the time. This can be one of the greatest joys of fighting games. The fighting game community is the name of the collective, but it's not monolithic. One of the my favorite things about fighting games, like Dragon Ball Fighters, like a lot of fighting games hate their top tiers. They'll see like Cell, who was uh considered top, who was considered top tier. Uh, I I think it's I think Cell's still top tier. I'm not sure. Um, his his scene is like. Uh, I I'll have to look it up. Uh, hang on, let me let me see if I can look it up. Cause what he'll let me see if I can look this shit up. Cause it's one of my favorite things about fighting games. Pokemon. No, no, not Pokemon, but, uh, DBFZ. Self-screen cr crowd? What? I got it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so, Dr so in Dragon Ball Fighters, right? Cell is considered one of the best characters in the game. I think he's, like, the best character. Or he's considered one of the best characters in the game, right? A lot of people in fighting games, they'll hate on, like, the top tiers and shit. Here's what... Can we have these Here's what fighter fans do. For the end. I want the crowd plus the game. Shout out to production. Look at this. See of humanity. Damn. Bro, it just goes on and on. Tarrant. I'm putting I'm putting myself in just shouting. Right guys. Mi padre. We gonna, we're just going to sign off for a moment here and let you guys enjoy this moment. Look at this. Everybody's ready. Bro. Throw back to season 1. Enjoy. Everyone in chat already screaming, ah! They skipped it? Oh, you're whack! No, reset, reset. This is a tournament set at Evo.
at one of the most prestigious tournaments ever. This is like the Super Bowl of gaming. And they they accidentally skipped the fucking intro and they still went back. Nah, 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 nah. The fucking Beerus cosplayer? Dude, sick. I actually want this. I actually might. Find out who that was. Take <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you just want to get into the yeah. game. Take two, guys. Take All right, two. guys. Anyway, Evo 2022. Sell games. Sell intro. Take two. Throw back to season one. Enjoy, everybody. Enjoy Chat. this moment. Chat. Get hyped. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> this is no <laughs> Evolution 2022 back at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. The crowd is here. We are all enjoying some good as Dragon Ball Fighter Shanks. No, I fucking love it. Like, one of my favorite things about, like, um, uh, let, let me see what one of my favorite crowd reactions. Hang on. Let me go to, uh, I think it was Smash 4. Crowd sings. Um. Never mind. I can't find it. There, there was a bunch of people who like um, and it was a Smash Four tournament, right? I think it was Smash Four or Ultimate. I can't remember, but it was like there was a bunch of people who sung. Um, it was a, it was a Sonic song. I can't remember. Fuck. Anyways, we're back to the video. There are hundreds or thousands of Discord communities out there for fighting games. Some are game specific, some are character specific, some are geared towards certain demographics and skill levels. Do some Googling and ask around on Twitter until you find a place that feels good for you. Whether it's folks you meet through these communities or your own network of friends, playing fighting games against someone you know is so good. <laughs> For me, knowing who's on the other side of the connection completely obliterates the frustration and antagonism that I can feel playing against random online opponents. Because yeah, people naturally feel like this person is talking hella shit and they don't like me, they hate me, and they're teabagging. Oh my god, because they, they're fucking toxic. They, they automatically assume the worst whenever you're just beating the hell out of somebody. Partially because it's just more humanizing when you know that person. Yeah! Also, yeah! You can ask questions in chat. If you're in a good community, your opponent isn't going to keep any secrets. Because people who have decided that they want to get good at fighting games have signed an unspoken contract of mutual self-improvement. Yep. Iron sharpens iron. Fighting stronger opponents makes you stronger. So a good sparring partner will explain exactly how and why they're winning. Yep. Yep. Back in my old scene, uh, we always taught uh, newer players how to beat us. And that's exactly what I do all the time. I teach you how to beat me. Um, because if you stay getting hit by the same dumb shit, I'm going to play against a player who doesn't get hit by that same dumb shit. And I got to learn how to like deal with it if you don't get hit by that same dumb shit. You feel me? I saw the match on Twitter and I was hyped as hell. Dude, it's so, it's so good. It's so, it's, I love fighters so much. Oh my God. Until it's time to compete. Very well then. Far be it from me to turn. Competing against your friends. It feels, it, it, it feels like there's an un, unexplainable amount of joy I get whenever someone who was, I, I would dominate on, just actually keep up with me and, and we're beating the fuck out of each other. And it, it, there's a, there's a joy I get when someone like who used to beat the fuck out of me, I'm just like keeping up with them and I win or I lose or I win or whatever the fuck. There's a god damn it feels good Turn down a challenge. It could be heartbreaking because you don't want to take your turn your friend out of tournament But you know, it's the nature of competing And for a fellow pugilist Through your community or just by being online you might come across some online tournaments and you should sign up for them Tournaments are really cool. They offer you the chance to do a lot of things that you won't get in your casual play 
First of all, it's one of the few times you and your buddies will step into that magic circle of competition, mutually and temporarily agreeing to set aside the helpful hints and just going all out, seeing who will win. If you're used to mostly playing friendlies, it's fun to try out a different vibe. The other useful thing is that it's fucking scary. At first. The first few times I did online tournaments, I literally got shaky and sweaty. I forgot my combos and I mashed buttons. But each time I did it, it got easier. And once you've played under pressure, you'll be better in casual settings. I actually hate online tournaments. I really do. I, I, I'd rather go for like offline. Offline all day. I don't know. I lost my ruby and I was like, no! What, what, what did you lose to? Random matchmaking doesn't get my heart rate up like it used to. Finally, a lot of tournaments are streamed on Twitch, which means you might get a chance to rewatch the VOD and hear someone commentate your match. Like a lot of parts of the fighting game process, this can make you feel vulnerable, but a good commentator will put into clear terms what's going on, and that can be an incredible learning tool. They've proven they're pretty good at fighting out of the corner. Already, Doubleman now back thrown into the corner. Again, huge life deficit, but the other way around. Gets hit by the stomps. No, but drops it at the target combo. Death. The best part, there is no end. Just beating the fuck out of each other and then the Dragon Ball music starts playing in your head. Yeah, yeah. Because I got so uh so pissed off my swallow's death. Who where did you lose at? One of the many wonderful and intimidating things about fighting games is that there's no prescribed end goal for your participation. There's no final boss or end game treadmill. Even the best player in the world is only the best until someone surpasses them. Mm -hmm. No matter where you are in your journey, in some sense, you're still at the beginning. That means you won't always know the next step forward, but it also means you're never falling behind. And as long as you're on that path, learn- Brisket! Brisket! Look at you, fucking brisket! ...and having fun, you're doing it right. Good video, good video. I'll drop a like there. Good video. Uh, we'll watch one more, and I'll, I'll play. Uh, while well, Phoenix, I'll, uh, I still got a match to play with you. Uh, versus most of non-fighting games. A big hot topic in the fighting game community is how the genre needs more single-player-oriented content to complement the player versus player action. And while this is true, I'm also a firm believer that I think more single player focused games should have versus mode shoved in them for no reason. <laughs> so, today we're going to take a quick look at a bunch of video games that are not fighting games, but got some fighting games in them. Sanshu? San Sanshu, what? I thought you said Master. No, I did not. I didn't. I didn't, I swear. As long as you let me stretch the definition of what a fighting game is a bit. And there's no better way to start this off with than probably the earliest example of this Double Dragon on the NES, which has you fight over who gets the girl at the end of a co-op run. I never really got into Double Dragon. I tried that game. It's just not really my thing. I don't know. It's just, it feels like, it feels like obviously the best, uh, obviously the very first beat em up ever. And they stuck with that same formula. And it's just like, eh, I'm not really a fan of that formula but also has a totally separate versus mode where you get to choose between six different characters to duke it out. This is obviously a super primitive versus mode, but honestly, it's a pretty unique experience for the NES. And don't be surprised that there's actually tech for this. Oh! Now to transition from Double Dragon to Dragon Ball. It's such a good game. This is such a good game. Which is a franchise that is primarily made up of fighters in the video game space. But don't worry, because even the rare non-fighting game digital Dragon Ball outing has a super sick hidden fighter in it. Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure is a Game Boy Advance platformer beat-em-up that goes through the entire Dragon Ball story from Pilaf to Demon King Piccolo and is totally worth playing on its own, but becomes even cooler. Damn! From Pilaf to Demon King Pic- I, I never knew that. Like, okay, so I've only watched this game, uh, but I never- The only ones I played like this is uh, Dragon Ball Origins 1 and 2 for the DS, which only goes so far. They don't go as far as this. Holy when fuck. You find out there's a versus mode with eight playable characters and Marvel-style combos. Holy fuck. The game fuck. is incredibly simple with only one attack button and another for specials. But there's also parries and guard breaks, teleport mix-ups, and generally just feels and looks super good. This game is up there as one of the greatest Dragon Ball games for me, and I played this mode a ton as a kid. Holy shit. 
Next, I want to take a look at the hidden versus mode that's found in Mega Man 7. That's better than most Dragon Ball Z fighting games. 7 on the Super Nintendo, which can only be accessed by a code. It's a super simple two-player battle mode that has you choose either Mega Man or Beast, I never knew this. You shoot at each other until someone blows up. I never knew about this. It gives the characters a little spice, though. There are specials like Mega Man's Air Slash or Bass's Booster Kick, which are done by doing Hadouken and Shoryuken motions, respectively. Most interestingly to me, though, is that this game was released before the arcade title Mega Man The Power Battle, which basically took this idea and expanded on it. So my hunch is that this was some kind of power battle prototype, but that's just a theory. An awesome coincidence that happened while I was making this video was that a two-player mode for Super Punch-Out on the Super Nintendo was Oh, I heard about this. ...that lets the second player control any boxer of their choice against first player Little Mac. This has my gears turning, because what if there are other secret two-player modes in other games that we just haven't found yet? <laughs> this is a thought that will truly keep me up at night. Alright, alright though. I know what you want from this channel, so let's get weird. The Adventures of Little Ralph is a Japanese-only classic platformer released on the PlayStation 1 in 1999 that is just so good. The gameplay is super solid huh. and a nice challenge, and the sprite art is downright gorgeous. But even cooler than all of that is that this little game becomes a legit fighting game during its boss battles. You see, Ralph was a super cool dude who got transformed into a child to make him weaker, but when he gets his sword, he temporarily reverts back to his adult self and learns how to Hadouken and Shoryuken. <laughs> I just love this transition from cute well, to cool as to fuck. fighter, with even the controls themselves totally changing to traditional fighting game controls and Ralph having motion inputs for specials. After beating the game, you unlock a versus mode that also lets you play as all the bosses who have unique moves, crazy combos, and even cool mechanics like this character being able to control her air momentum for dumb mix-ups. That's apparently the best character in the game. Uh, Double Dragon was either my first or second beat em up because I remember playing the game uh, on my Wii and my dad how to uh, introduce me to the game. It, it's not my favorite one. I, I, I'll say that much. It's just not my favorite one. Little Ralph is definitely a great example of not only a hidden gem, but also the peak example of what this video is striving for. A fighting game that is hidden inside of a non-fighting game. But platformers and fighters aren't too many degrees removed from each other, right? What about a genre known for its, you know, lack of true gameplay in place of storytelling? Well, in the Japanese-only Sega CD point-and-click adventure, Udasei Yatsura, Dear My Friends, based on the titular manga and anime, no you way. can find some video game cartridges hidden around the main character Ataru's house, which can be brought to a video game console to play. And thankfully for us, one of those video game carts happens to be- Subspace Emissary, baby! Subspace Fighter Nitro, that's cool. ...be a fighting game. Just as a heads up, while this game was released only in Japan on the Mega CD, I'm actually playing the wonderful PC recreation of the game by Ezekiel000, which is also translated into English with mouse and keyboard controls, which is perfectly suited for a point and click. Anyways, this little fighter inside of the game is Subspace oh, that's cool. Fighter Nitro, which is a little janky two-button oh, yeah, yeah, that's uh... USA characters. Obviously, this isn't the deepest fighting game ever, but the novelty of this existing is super cute to me, and I'm sure fans of the series will get a kick out of this, even if it's just for a few minutes. It's a cool distraction, and that's all it needs to be. So someone just discovered an infinite. <laughs> I, I don't see that being beaten. Keeping on with games where story is the crux of the adventure, let's take a look at Square's almost masterpiece that definitely needs a remix so they can actually tell the story that they wanted to, Xenogears. This game is a grandiose JRPG classic that hits all the hot tropes of late 90s thought-provoking greatness. Damage main characters that need therapy, heavy religious themes, and giant robots. <sighs> and thankfully, somewhere along this 50-hour adventure, you could stop what you're doing and battle those giant robots. This mode plays more like Virtuon or Custom Robo than a standard fighter because you battle in an open 3D space. And I mean like, really open. Look how far you can go. There are tons of different mechs to choose who all have different moves, and boosting around feels pretty good. But it's a bit simplistic and it'll usually devolve into spamming whatever your best move is. But as simple as it is, I remember playing this a lot when I was a kid, and I always thought it was awesome that the JRPG with the combo battle system also had a fighter side game to mess around with. Also, it has a training mode, with frame data. Oh. Some major fighting game releases still don't have frame data. God. Now let's take a look at another JRPG that's a Japanese take on Western RPGs. 
Ah, oh, yeah. You see that From Software logo? Software. You know you're in for a treat. This is Shadow Tower, which is a first-person dungeon crawler that's one of the predecessors to the Soul series. This game is esoteric, super brutal, and probably very archaic to most at this point. But I've always liked these kinds of games, and the low-poly look and lack of music give Shadow Tower an insane rich and lonely atmosphere. And it also has a versus mode. Yes. Years before everyone <laughs> jokingly called Dark Souls PvP a fighting game, From Software already made a fighter. And in From Software tradition, the versus mode is so overly complicated and dumb that it's kind of charming. You see, there are over 150 monsters in Shadow Tower, and for every one that you kill in the game, you unlock them to play in the versus mode. Huh. Now, a lot of these monsters are very basic or can be considered reskins of each other, but that's still a massive roster. To make it even dumber though, once you unlock a monster for versus mode, you only unlock them for your save on a single memory card, which means to play against another opponent, they also have to have a save file with monsters unlocked on a separate memory card. That's so stupid. After jumping through several hoops though, you can finally play the Shadow Tower fighting game, which is as beautiful as you could probably imagine. <laughs> the game plays with tank controls, every monster has different buns and different amounts of attacks, and obviously there's no semblance of balance between anything. But it's so weird and cool. These monsters have such awesome and gross designs that I can't help but to just love this mode even though it's pretty not good. Putting your demon pets into because the ring. Because of how bad the balance is, every match feels like it could end in a second, which just makes things so damn stressful and just plain funny. And you know what? This is just a cool idea in general. Bring this back from software. I want to play these freaks in a fighting game. Please. And finally... Let's take a look at the PS2 now, which had so many 3D beat-em-ups with multiplayer fighting game versus modes that, honestly, I could make an entire video just about that. But instead, I'm just going to quickfire talk about some notable ones, starting with... The Bouncer. The Bouncer. This is the pre dis pre dis pre fucking the, the game before Kingdom Hearts. Look, I know that this game is just a big meme at the... Look at, look at this character. Look at him. Look at his character. Look at their hair. Uh, tell me that ain't Sora. What, uh, point five. At this point, but I have super fond memories of this game because this was the first game I ever rented on the PS2. And at the time, Nomura could do no wrong for me. I saw designs like these, and I ate it right up. Also, the bouncer is made by Dream Factory, who has also made a bunch of cool, interesting fighting games. Oh, that's real. Oh, Cloud in the fighting game is real. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. So I was really excited to play this again and try the versus mode as an adult. And okay, this is boring. It's almost like each fighter is just taking turns attacking and the hits have no impact whatsoever. But hey, they had 4 player versus mode with the multi tap running at 60 frames per second in the year 2000. So I gotta give Square some credit here. So the memes were right about the bouncer. But hey, I've played much worse. And much worse is right here with Enter the Matrix. Now, I know people love this story canon action romp through the Matrix universe, but man, I know my mantra is to be positive with fighting games, but it's hard for me to find anything to love in this versus mode, because, well, just take a look at it. The camera is god awful, and buns legitimately feel just horrible. <laughs> I have a strong tolerance when it comes to bad games, and honestly, in the fighting Sorry, game 0 space, is that I don't think many truly bad fighting games actually exist. But even I had to flush this one down. Hard disagree. Pretty quickly. Now for a movie adaptation that actually shocked me in a good way. Check out the Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith video game. Which of course has you hacking and slashing through the plot of the movie. But who cares? I just want to see some Jedi's fight. The versus mode is an open 3D fighter with strings, juggles, and special moves. And you know, it honestly feels alright. It does look kind of epic when characters start dodging and stuff. It has all the prequel era characters you'd probably expect, while even throwing in an OC and Old Man Kenobi in for good measure. But what surprised me was that this game has fostered an online community just for the versus mode. Oh. It has a Discord with almost 200 people in it. Oh shit. They're playing matches, posting tech, and this just blows my mind and makes me super happy that a community exists for a mode like this. Also, apparently Grievous is top tier, so this makes the game automatically good in my opinion. Next up is Beatdown, Fist of Vengeance. And man, growing up I remember thinking that this game was really cool. 
Beatdown is a peak mid-2000s aesthetic game where you run around and fight random dudes to level up and also beat them down so bad that they're forced to join your little underworld hustler party. The versus mode takes the one-on-one -on -one fight straight out of the main game and plays pretty decently, but for whatever reason, I remembered it being way crazier and a lot more fun as a kid. But then, I realized I was getting beat down Fist of Vengeance mixed up with Urban Rain, which literally came out of- Ah, uh, I actually play Urban Rain. I, this game was, this game was okay. And man, Urban- The, in, the final boss ends in one hit. You, you hit him one time. Urban Rain is so cool. Urban Rain is a mission-based beat-em-up by Namco that is just so over-the-top and exaggerated that it oozes fun straight out of the screen. I there was one uh, mission he had to do. Uh, the mission was uh, you had to not just beat a guy up, you had to beat their legs in. So you had to hit him with a bunch of lows. I used to fail the mission so much because I didn't read anything. I was like, wait, why did I fail? Of course I beat him up. No, you had to hit him with lows. I posted a clip of myself playing this game and just getting my ass beat and had so many replies just praising this game that I'm ashamed that I always got it confused with Beatdown. And all this greatness applies to the versus mode too, which is just a lot of fun and lets you do so much crazy stuff. <laughs> Since this is a Namco game, you also get Paul Phoenix and Martial Law from Tekken as guest characters. Oh shit, for real? And yeah, you can death punch people into oblivion. Urban Rain rules so hard, and now I gotta start shilling this game and run some 4-player matches at locals in the future. And now for the last game we'll be taking a look at. Well, this might feel like kind of a cop-out. Because this is a spin-off title of an actual fighting game series. You know what? When else am I going to get to gush about this game? Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks might actually be my favorite Mortal Kombat. Because the main game in its versus mode is just so much damn fun. The main game is a co-op 3D platformer beat-em-up. With cool moves and strings that let you do some pretty insane combos. And the versus mode replicates that perfectly in the best way possible. Because it means that all the jank wackiness you can do to a random ogre can also be done to your unexpecting friend. Oh! But seriously, this game just feels super good and lets you do so much dumb fun stuff. And playing these familiar characters against someone else in a way that's removed from the roots of the series while still being true to itself is just awesome and makes me want a game like this for all my favorite fighters. And a lot of my videos, I usually preface some games I talk about by saying that they're awesome, but they're not going to show up at the next EVO. But no, this should be at EVO. I want to see this played at the highest level in a stadium packed with fans gushing over it. I love this game. Okay, sure, Please sure. port it to literally anything. Please. So, those are all the games I wanted to take a look at. And trust me, I know I haven't even scratched the surface of this topic, and there are tons of more unsuspecting fighting games hidden deep in other genres. So if you have any that you'd like me to talk about in the future, let me know in the comments. But whether you're playing Street Fighter or Shadow Tower versus Bode, have fun. Thanks. Good video. Good video. Let me drop um drop a like. And you know I'll sub too. Fuck yeah, dude. Alright, uh Wild Phoenix, are you ready for some Pokemon action? I wanna show this off. Let me see. Uh, Evo. Evo moment number 37, of course. Also known as a Daigo Perry occurred during Thirst. Yep. Obviously, we gotta watch history. Let's go, Justin! Oh! 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 That's what we needed. That's what the stream needed. That's exactly what the stream needed. Evil, evil moment number 37, baby. That, that's exactly what we needed. All right. Uh, where is? Because I think someone just challenged me. I don't know. <gasps> A challenge.
Uh, I think I have a song for this. I would like to show this off. Hang on. I just found out about this one Sonic game. Uh, this uh fan Sonic game or whatever. I might. That's really loud. Good. All right, running. All right, let's see what you got. Okay, so what are we doing here? What do I do here? I got this move. Ooh, terrifying. Bye 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 Hello, Lee. Plumi, how you doing today? Plumi, Plumi's here. Okay, I got. Hey, well, I'm finished. I'm so sorry. I have to beat the ever-loving shit out of you. Plumi's here. You understand, right? You, you get it. You understand. You, you, you understand. You, you. Uh, who do I go to though? Plumi, how you doing today? I have missed you dearly. Oh yeah, right. I forgot. No, no, no. Uh, so I, I, I gotta read. I have, I have a read. It's gonna be so funny when you use this earthquake. What? Damn it! What the hell? While you're making your move, I'll go ahead and just go and give a quick shout out to Plumy. Uh, we are big Plumy fans in chat. We love Plumy. I love that song. I'm going to make that into a button. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I got a fire blast. So you got you got a you got a nice little setup going on here. I like that. I like that. Uh, doing okay. Uh, just doing some chores. Ooh, nice. I'm glad to hear it. Also not, cause yeah, chores could be annoying. Eh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Toxic. All right. You went for the Thunderbolt. That's a wild one. I like that. I like that. Oh, see, so did you think I was going to switch or something? Because you were wrong. Uh, thank you for the shout out. Thank you for resisting. I appreciate you. So how are we going to do this? And why is the way just to go for a ruse? Holy fuck. Ooh, what do I do about this? Ah! I miss. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> that, that's so sad, bro. God damn it. I eat those. What you want? Mm, what do 
I want to do to you? What uh, what do I want to do? How do, how do I hurt you? Oh shit, that hurt. What the fuck? Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I should be able to survive it, right? I mean, I'm just saying, I should be able to survive it, right? Hey, Your Honor, I say we fucking a ball. Living! Fuck yes! Yes! Yeah, give me them lefties. No, no. Garbador, how do I want to deal with you? Um... Like this. Not pretension? Oh, no, I hate those. Wandering spirit. Enjoy that. Whoo! Oh, I'm gonna eat this next one. You better do something quick. Paint split? Fuck. <laughs> so I thought you was gonna switch out to your flying type. That's also a ghost type. <laughs> I thought. I didn't know he was just so willing to sack that one. Uh, sack that one mon. Or maybe you don't know how paint split works all that well. I barely understand how paint split works, so I can't say much. Uh, this Pokemon. Uh, I. Wild Phoenix. Wild Phoenix. What? I'm a ghost. Wild. You fell for that twice. Why? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, don't belly drum. You don't belly drum now. No, no, no. Your attack power is uh, useless. Oh, shit. Wild, no. Wild, why did you die to Vex as a fucking burnt mon? No. No. I'm down. I'm down to trade a little bit. I'm down. Damn it. Ooh, that speed is kind of nasty. Ooh, I, I, I don't like that too much. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, so here is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go with this one. Hey, you wanna find out who's faster? Cause I I'm down with finding out who's faster. Well, I'll be honest with you, you was on fire for a second, and then you started hitting my uh, ghost type with fighting of normal type moves. I don't know what ha I don't know what happened there. I I, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> oh. But the comeback is possible. It could happen. It could happen to you. I could. Uh. Well, you know what? Nah. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Um. Uh. Gigi's wall Phoenix. Yep. Yep. Gigi's man. Uh. All honesty, like you. Uh. You wasted two turns by trying to hit my ghost type with. 
of what happened, dog, you try to hit my ghost type with a normal and a fighting type move, respectively. Uh, and, and it led like your main player who could have, okay, um, I'll do another one. I got you. It led to like your main player getting burnt. You could have belly drummed extreme speed all over me, but nah, it's just, <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing at first. I was like, wait, what, what was that a misclick? Bro, was, was that a misclick, bro? <laughs> all right, let's see here. How's about, eh, fuck it. All right, let's see what you got. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. All right, so you got a Persian on deck. A uh, bit nervous about that, not going to lie. Knock off. Okay, smart move. Got rid of my lefties. I will toss it you, though. Ba, 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 ba. Fake out. No. What? Wait, you can only use fake out the first turn. The first turn you're out, you can only use fake out. That's it. What do I want to do? Smart move, smart move. Cause I, I, I ain't confront. I was gonna kill you. <laughs> I was gonna murder you. <laughs> Weird move though. Cause I will toss that one too. Weird, weird move. I, I, I will not lie to you. Okay, so this monster's gonna give you some trouble. Th th this monster's gonna give you some trouble. I, I see. <laughs> I see now. Ugh. Oh, this one's terrifying. No, wait, wait, wait. This is actually terrifying. So there's a very easy way to pe beat Pukimuku. Wild Phoenix, can you do it? Can you figure out how to beat this Mon? If you beat it, you probably won. That's not a joke. You have such a strong... Yep, that is the way to beat it. That is the way to beat it. <laughs> I am in some serious trouble now. I'm going to die. <laughs> living oh no you don't no wild phoenix do you have a move to defeat oh 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 do you have something you gotta have something zen headbutt okay oh damn actually surprised that you didn't go for the move that's standard and not not very effective like you went for like the icicle crash it's like that's a decent move but you want to go for zen headbutts in that situation i just didn't give you a chance because i'll put you on too large of a time limit so far pukumuku giving my dog some trouble oh no oh no Oh no. So by the judges by the judge of everything, uh Wild Phoenix has run out of power up Pokemon. And you're getting messed up by this one mon.
Like, if you have a poison type, you'd be all right. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, kind of forgot, Miracle being a psychic type move is not, it, it can't affect Yveto, who is a dark type Pokemon. So we're, we're in a bit of a, we're, we're in a bit of a standstill. Honestly, it ain't impossible. Your vessel can get a surprise little critical attack on my ass. Ooh, instead of like opting to get out and uh, resetting the time limit. Uh, Wild Phoenix has chosen to just like uh, bullhead on me. Oh, this ain't looking too good. This ain't looking too good. This ain't looking too good. I fucking hate this match. <laughs> you have the... Okay, so here's how you beat me. I'm not kidding when I say this. If you have Swords Dance on this Pokemon with a sword, you have a... Ch okay, well. I'm going to let that one slide. I could have recovered. I'm going to... You know what? Yeah. Oh, right. I forgot. You could have powered up. It doesn't matter. I had underwear. Damn, Pikamook was busted, dude. I could have just kept recovering. I don't think you understand. I could have just kept recovering. I didn't want to play Pukimuku anymore. That's it. That's the only reason why I dropped out. I have underwear. It didn't matter if you use Belly Drum or not. I, I didn't even read that. Oh, my God. What a busted mon. Ugh, disgusting. Who do I go next? Uh, Tapu Fini. Okay, I'll switch, I'll switch. Uh, what do I wanna do here? Cause I don't see anything wrong with me just doing this. Knock off, you, my fucking lefties, you asshole, what the hell? Before you get me. Ah, rules of nature. In me now. <laughs> you could have powered up. You could have dynamaxed. I didn't even get to the B. Aw, oh, good game, good game. Good game, Wild Things. That was good. Nah, it, they put you in a shit, shit, shit position because they gave me Pikumuku, and it's like none of your mods were like prepared to fight Pikumuku. Like, not a one. Nah, I, I can't see any of these Pokemon doing anything to Pikumuku. And especially when I have the option to just return and shit. God, that was so trash. That was so bad. That is so bad. Man, we're, we're gonna play Pokemon now. Fuck this, cause that that is so bad. They gave you such a shit matchup. I, I'll, I'll say it right now, Wild Phoenix. They they gave you such a shit team against that one Pukumuku. Pukumuku was the most busted thing on my team.
it, it, it's, it's like there's not a single. You have not a single mon. I checked your moves. There's not a single mon that could deal with that one mon. You know. My mind was moving everywhere, trying to find a counter and sweating. Yeah, because you had none. The, the counter was me fucking up on uh, me messing up enough. The counter was me misclicking. That's it. But with my ability, with my big ass defense, my ability to counter and mirror coat you, toxic stall you, you had no poison types. You had like you had nobody to toxic me. You had no poison types. If you at least had someone, that, if you had someone that had toxic, you'd have been in a much better spot. It's like, okay, put me on a time limit too. But you had nobody. That 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 just sucked. No, no, no. They 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 fucked you over. That that randomizer fucked you over so hard. <clears throat> like my only solution in that one situation, it would have been like maybe you should have died to max a little early and hit me with if you had any anything that was super effective against like water types, you would have had a chance. And you, all you had to do was like Dynamax and you'd have been fine. But like I mean, maybe surf fetched with like a with an with like a fighting type that that bit fighting type Dynamax move where you can increase your attack power. No, no, even then, no, I forgot. I have unaware. No, nah, you were just fucked. If you had toxic, you'd have been good. But yeah, it, with me with unaware, it's like nah, you was not. You you was not. You was seeing God. I'll tell you that much. All right, anyways, enough for shit matchups. We play more shit matchups. <laughs> We're playing Pokemon. Woo! Okay, so last time we got to this place. Uh, we need to be Alyssa. Not with this team. This team will get absolutely fried. Deep fried by that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Every This one's weak to electric types. This one. This one. I have three Pokemon that are weak to electric type Pokemon. Uh, electric type moves. We have to change that now. If we don't, we'll die. So I wanted to do this before stream, but I was already taking care of a lot of shit. Uh, before stream due to you know hence me being late to stream uh so yeah we're gonna get you we, we need cool kings we need onyx on the team and uh yeah glygar sand lover sand lover 69 we need you uh the next time i see pukamuku it will be uh too fucking soon and you will find me in a uh, fetal position no i could have honestly Six OG with that Pukumuku. I just decided not to. That that is how bad it got. That is actually how bad it got. That Pukumuku was like the only way you were seeing him, toxic. That's it. Toxic. Swords Dance strat power up strats would not have worked. Power up strats with like, I think an ability that like disregards unaware maybe, but I, I don't think there's mold breaker. I think mold. I think mold breaker does that, but I don't know. I don't know. You, you you was you was not seeing God that day. Okay, so here's what we need to do. Cock Croc needs to evolve. If Croc Croc does not evolve, we're kind of fucked. The level cap is 40. We need to get a level 40. Cock Croc. Go, baby, go! Crunch? Fuck yes. Yes! Baby, 
dig? No, that move sucks. Please! Foul play, forget must laugh. Please! Yes! Hands off the controller. Hands off the controller. Yes. Cock rock. Yes. Other thing I had in showdown goes like this. Toxic protect and recover on fucking repeat. And I'll do it again. <laughs> it's ass. Don't get me wrong. Now. It's ass to deal with. But I will do it again. I need a metal coat. I need a metal coat. We can get a Steelix. Evolve cookies, go! Mark Polish? I mean, yeah, sure, I, I guess. Uh, forget race, because that move is trash. I want to look up a video of... Oh, it worked, thank God. I want to look up a video of, like... How to, um... I mean, what are, like, the top ten worst Pokemon moves? Rage has got to be one of them. Sadly, after Gen 2, Hyper Beam has to be up there, too. <laughs> What's what's that again? Nah. You can evolve Gliscor. I need uh, a Razor Claw, right? Let's let's get Kukunks up to level forty first. Slam, fuck that. Still thought, oh hell yes. Hey, and he died. How you doing? Oh, what the fuck? I have Prime? You do have a Prime. Or Sub or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Use it before you lose it. Rather not have you waste your money on Bezos. And I think you have... Uh, by the way, have y'all checked if you have a Twitch Prime yet? Uh, Click that sub button and see if you can sub for free. Doesn't have to be me. Just uh, make sure you don't waste it. And I think you have Toxic Orb or uh, if it heals... Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Protein. Eat it. The one thing I don't like about this game, uh, about this mod, is that I have to, like, um, I have to worry about EVs and shit. I'm not a fan of that. I'll say it. Radical Red did it better. Fuck you. Uh, today and yesterday, I made a checklist of all uh, left uh, butterflies and moths uh, with research grade citizen science uh, records in my country. Oh, good shit. Damn, that sounds like a lot. I don't even understand the half the words you said, but that sounds like a lot. <laughs> I'm happy for you. The croc is buff as fuck. It was only 222 species. 
It, that's a little. All right. I believe you. I, I need uh, a razor claw. Razor claw. Razor Claw. Evolve! Evolve! Oh, it didn't work? How do I evolve Gliscor in this game? Give me a hot second. I, I need to look up how to evolve Gliscor in uh, Pokemon Blaze Black. I actually do not know. Or Glick Gligar. Uh, Lee, question. Did you play Sonic before the sequel, or did uh, you just find the music? I just found a song. Uh, I do want to play it, though. Uh, level up Gligar while it's dark to evolve Gliscor. Dog, it is 927. What the? Fuck! I, I actually clicked it. It's dark, isn't it? It's like 9... Okay, even in... Okay, it's like 917. Ain't no way it's not dark. Oh, that's so whack. Did they gotta like me too? You know what? Yeah, we can solve that. Hang on. Uh, love me. Uh, what's the other one? Defense? Yeah, sure. They have a razor claw. Uh, let's let's try it. Let's try it again. Here, take this. Swords dance. <gasps> I like swords dance. What? Why? Oh, it's razor fang. Oh, it's Razor Fang. Okay, I'm glad I found that out one level before. It was Razor Claw. Where's Razor Fang at? Razor Fang. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Razor Bang. Quick clock? No, wrong. I wish I could alphabetize these things. Dragon Fang? Almost. We're getting somewhere. Wow. Hydrate? Fuck. Uh, damn, I am kind of thirsty. Hang on. Only because... 
clue we did it. I'm getting water now. Lumi can get me and do a lot of things, I'll admit. I'll admit. I'll admit. <laughs> I think you can sort them. Uh, Hang on, I I'll try one more time and I'll sort. Oh, so I got some like pretty cool news. So we know how I have an editor, right? I, uh, so Eleven is always going to be my editor. As long as she's willing to put up all my shit, <laughs> and as long as I'm streaming, then she's always going to be my editor. Uh, Let it be known, I'll, it, it, just in case. But I will say this, I do plan on hiring more editors. Uh, like, you know, just maybe like, uh, maybe for this one month, I'll go ahead and hire a few editors every now and again, because there's like a bunch of Pokemon videos that I want to do. Uh, so I have been playing Bla Blaze Black and I would like to show off like all the times that I've won, uh, won battles, all the times that I've lost. And um, I want I want to dump that low on like somebody else. I want to give that work to somebody else and have Eleven just work on like the really big stuff, you know? Like the Cuphead video, the soon to be out um, Metal Gear Rising video, uh, the uh, just a bunch of other videos that I got going on, you know? How do I sort? Editor Team Six, yep, I'm gonna get myself a band of dedicated weirdos. <laughs> and they're all gonna have the funny on them. Items have been sorted. Uh, sort of how? A, B, yes! Ooh, yeah. So, there's gonna be a week <laughs> where I might have like four videos out. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. But if you like some Lee Cario content, and you like hearing me talk or whatever, I mean like, hey, there you go. Oh, I don't have one. Ah, well that uh, that puts a damper on the plan. I actually don't have something. Hmm. I'm not sure how that happened, but all right, whatever. We should be all right. Kill with the funny, yes. Yeah, because one of the main things I want to do with this, uh, with my YouTube, or just Twitch in general. Like, you know, my, my thing with Twitch is that I, I wanted a platform where like, I, um, I could show off me doing cool video game stuff, you know? I want to show off that I can do it. Like, you know, I, I could do this stuff by myself, in my room, screaming at myself, and pro possibly my dog. I could. But, nah, because I, I, I want to, like, show off that I can do it, and I want to show off over and over again that I can do it, in a very funny and comical way. Like, yeah, I could be opening Pokemon cards by myself and like, oh my god, I pulled this card. It's so cool. I could do that. I really could. But, um, huh. I, I, I want to show it off a little bit. I think it'd just be cool. Okay, so Cockrock. Oh, well, we can just turn the music on. Hang on. Okay, so with Cockrock, we need to teach him like, uh, Earthquake. Wildly important that this motherfucker knows Earthquake. I think so. Yeah. Get, uh, Embargo. I also think Protect would be stupidly important.
Uh, we're forgetting. <sighs> sorry. No swag for you, bro. I'm sorry. Alright, Sand Lover 69 has to forget uh Quick Attack. I could make Kukings forget rock polish, but I'm thinking like, what if I would have know like rock polish? into fuck your entire team. Maybe forget Sandstorm? So this moveset, honestly, okay, maybe give, oh, they have Moxie. Oh shit, I forgot about they have, I forgot they have Moxie. Oh, that's so good. Uh, I say give them like lefties. Yeah, leftovers. I would just like give him a choice scarf and let him wreak havoc. But the first Pokemon I gotta deal with, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Emolga. Like, or at least one of the Pokemon I gotta deal with. Elissa does, like, she's known for having an Emolga. So I gotta make sure that flying type just goes down. Uh. So how's about we have you two up front? Nah, that's scary. <laughs> Actually kind of terrifying. Nah, you two up front though. The only thing is like Lamb Chop, just in case I happen to a double battle, is that like, the only thing about Lamb Chop is that Lamb Chop's kind of slow. That terrifies me. Yeah, y yeah, sure. Just in case they hit in level cap. <laughs> They, they hit in level cap tonight. I don't care. Okay, cool. I don't want to go in there because there's a bunch of trainers over here. I don't need to be in there. Uh, and they'll get me way above level cap. I don't want that. Hey, it's Bianca. Hell no. Nah, she wants smoke. So do I, baby. Oh, Lee. Uh, are you interested in musicals? Then let's go in together. Whoa. Whoa. Amazing, isn't it? Hello, you two. How, how do you do? I'm the owner of this theater. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Ooh, I must say that you two seem like phenomenal trainers. What do you, uh, what do we do here? We use props to make your Pokemon fashionable and glamorous. Do you want to join in and play dress up? To get started, here's a prop case. I sent you Sonic after the sequel, but Sonic before the sequel and Sonic Chromo Adventure are in my Google Drive, which I did send. Thank you, I appreciate that. I might just play that uh, next week, I don't know. Would you recommend Sonic before the sequel? Because I know the music is fucking fire. I know that. Uh, first off, you need to you need to pick a Pokemon. Okay, so which Pokemon do we dress up? Uh, Lamb Chop, Lamb Chop. Then it's time to play dress up. Okay, so I gotta use my mouse now. Yeah! 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 
Jessup, let's go. What's this? A umber belt? Oh, fuck yes. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, and we need uh, an umbrella. Can you hold this? Damn it. Nah, we need the bow. We need the bow. Grass skirt rules is so good. A product as a tie? Yeah! Nah, two two bows though? I don't know. The top hat? Nah. What's this? A small barrette? What if we gave him glasses? <gasps> yes! Well, they can have two? Nah. We, we don't want to overcrowd, you feel me? Uh, that's just a bit much. We don't, we don't want to be too extra. Uh, start off with Sonic BTS and go from there or not. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Dual wielding. Yes. Is this okay? Fuck yes. Beautiful. Wow, the two of you did a fantastic job coordinating everything. Utterly charming. If you have a Pokemon who can play dress up, uh, you can participate in the Pokemon musical. Would you two please join us? The receptionist can ex uh, explain everything. Let us say a brief farewell. I eagerly anticipate seeing you on stage. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, doing a musical will be totally cool, but there's other stuff I want to do. Okay, that's it. I made my mind up. I'm going to see the sights of Nimbasa. See you later. Yeah, we'll do it later. Oh, right. This is going to take a minute. Um, <clears throat> Daddy, what are you doing here? I've come to take you back home, of course. Your mother told me that you'd made it all the way out here. Haven't you gone far enough? No way. I'm going to keep traveling with Lee and my Pokemon. Absolutely not. Others do things their way, and others and we do things ours. Is that so? Then how about you do things your way, and I'll do things mine. Sweetie. You keep uh, going on your travels. Oh, wrong voice. Uh, sweetie, you keep going on your travels. Hey, who do you think you are? This is a family matter. My name is Alyssa. I'm this town's gym leader, and I'm also your wife's wife. Yes, that's right, I'm cucky, you asshole. I also happen to be a model. Yeah, that's right. Your wife taps this. Get fucked, idiot. You know... There are many people in this world. There are people who, uh, whose way of thinking may be completely different from yours, uh, from yours sometimes. This means you make it hurt. Of course, that's exactly right. I'm, it's because I'm worried about that. But it's important. Uh, sh 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 silence three, a tin is talking. Shut the fuck up. But it's important to keep trying. To learn about the difference, uh, the differences between yourself and others. To learn that being different is okay. And you shouldn't worry. Trainers always have uh, Pokemon at their side. Pokemon are wonderful. It's not only how cute they can be, but also how much you can depend on them. Please. I know there's, there's going to be painful stuff like you're worrying about. I know, really, I get it. But like, listen. There'll be tons of nice people too. Know what else? Since I've been traveling with Pokemon, I've already gotten tougher. And I could tell, I could totally tell. And my new mom over here, she's really cool and based. So, please. Hmm, I guess I'll have to accept being cucked by this wonderful lady. 
If wanting to continue your journey is selfish, uh, is selfishness in your part, wanting to stop you is selfishness on mine. <clears throat> I'm going to find I'm the one being childless at my age. I'm surprised to find I'm I'm the one being childless at my age. The gym leader's comments helped me wake up. I'm woke as fuck, honey. Please, you have to believe me. <laughs> Please visit me during the divorce. I'm sure it's better than you take the path <laughs> you want to take now. I hope that your journey will be fun. Bon voyage. Lee, please. Take care of my little girl, okay? Papa, I'll come after I find out what I really want to do. I'm sure he traveled as a trainer himself in the past. Being a parent must be hard. Did I meddle unnecessarily? You look troubled, so I decided to chime in. By the way, if you're trainers, uh, please stop by the Pokemon Dream. Uh, Jim. I'll teach you a little something about how tough a trainer can, uh, a journey can get. Damn. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm tired. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for coming, he died. You have yourself a good night. Damn, I also pulled a shadow and fucking, uh, <laughs> and fucking everyone's fine. <laughs> She's so cool, ha! I want to be totally cool woman like Alyssa. Hmm. Uh, I wonder how I'll get, uh, I'll get there. Oh, before that, I guess I need to discover what I really want to do. See you later, Lee. Ooh, family drama. Okay, I am pretty sure we are good, right? The gym's right. E oh, fuck. No, it's the weirdo. You're looking for Team Plasma, right? Uh, they ran into an into the amusement park. Come with me. I don't know. I don't know what voice personality these guys should have. I'm just gonna. What if they sound like Gogeta? Gogeta with two guns, like, uh... They're not here! Let's ride the Ferris wheel! And see if we can spot them! Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna check, hang on. Ah! Ah! Okay. No, we're not, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not, we're not doing that. I love the Ferris wheels. The circular motion, the mechanics. They're like collectors of elegant formulas. First, I must tell you, I am the king of Team Plasma. That is a way to open up, bro. I didn't, I can't remember, I didn't remember how fast you open up with that. Guess just asked me to work with him to save their Pokemon. I wonder how many Pokemon exist in this world. Bro, there's so many people out there who frame this to be like one of the most romantic things in Pokemon history. Dog, he threats he said three threatening ass sentences. None of them were romantic. I promise you that. My lord, in Yes, you're safe, Saya. It is us, your simps. We are here. Ah, oh, fuck, your shrimps. We are here. There's no problem. You're part of the people who bought and to help us save the Pokemon. So you're under my protection as well. Go quickly and let me and let my battle cover your retreat. Now then, Lee, do you follow my logic? Yeah, man. If true, your words please me. Ah, then. The future I envision. Perhaps I won't. I can't beat you here and now, but I'll battle you to buy time for these members of Team Plasma to get away. At least you admit it. At least motherfuckers admit. Yeah, I can't beat you. Nah, nah. But I'm just gonna like try.
Fuck, it's a double battle. No, I hate... Uh, okay, okay, we got this. We're good. We're good. We're so good. Okay, so first, first and foremost, I would like to take out this uh, hippopotamus. I, I need this motherfucker. Gone, gone. Uh, I'm not even kidding. I'm just going to double team the hell out of it. Uh, please let that kill it. Oh my god, thank god. And I don't think uh, even Game Freak knows how many Pokemon are out there. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> they'll know eventually. And then they'll change the answer in a, a year later. Uh, <laughs> okay, I think I know who I want to kill next. I also know who I want to kill next. Does that make sense? Die! Yes. Gligar is so cool. I, I don't know. They're flying scorpions, man. Would be absolutely terrifying in real life. I think it's cool in theory. Does that make sense? Uh, I think this thing has flash fire. I'm pretty sure it does. But I want this golet dead. Does that make sense? The only one uh, who has a chance to use an earthquake. I, I, I want it gone. Bow! Lee, what about the endless sea of fake ones? I, I don't have an answer for that. You're quite strong, but I have a future that must be changed. That must that, that I must change. And for the for that future, I'll defeat the champion and become unbeatable, unlike any other. I'll make all trainers free their Pokemon. Just try and stop me. If you want to be together with Pokemon, your only host is to collect the badges. From each area and head from head to the Pokemon. That's such a stupid plan. That's such a stupid plan, dude. Well, just God. Just, imagine if like Beyonce said, "Hey, everyone, give up and stop singing." Do you know how many people will be like, "No"? Try and stop me there if you dare. If your conviction is not strong enough, you will never be able to defeat me. That is such a stupid plan. Bye, bit brainwash boy. That is such a dumb. My God. You can tell this kid has never touched grass in her life. They touched grass one time. Got found my guesses. Stop touching grass. It's been too long. It's been too long. All right, so we're going to fight a gym leader. Uh... I have nothing else to add to that. We're just going to fight a gym leader. So what if I put Koo Kings up front, bro? I honestly gotta think this. Nobody's fucking with Koo Kings. Not a goddamn body in this gym is fucking with Koo Kings. <laughs> Koo Kings kinda fucks here. Your fashion sense is kind of Navoma townish. Wow, how did you know? Did I hate to add a difficulty in this game? It's not the AI is smarter, it's just they have more Pokemon. They're gonna waste your time. They're gonna waste more of your time. Fuck you. How does this Pokemon not have intimidate?
You know what? On second thought, I don't want to have Cool Kings in front. Uh, this Pokemon will get outspent by literally everything. But they kill everything and don't die to anything. <laughs> uh. Oh, why do you have Petal Dance? Why does Pichu have Petal Dance? Why the fuck does Pichu have Petal Dance? I came here to kick ass and chew rare candies, and I'm all out of candy. <laughs> Man, um. Goodbye, Minim. Man, so I ain't gonna front when I say this. Uh, we are going to speed all of this up. I, I, I'm just, we're just gonna speed run this. Uh, there's a lot of trainers in here. This thing has levitate. Oh fuck, I got screwed. There are too many trainers on this, in this goddamn gym. I need to get rid of them. Uh, we're gonna race to get to the uh, gym leader. Oh no, this mod is faster than me. What do I do? No, fuck! It's Pikachu! What was that, a light screen? Damn, that's this, this Pokemon trainer is dog shit at the game. <laughs> well, at least bored as hell with these peons. I, I'm just, I, I, I need to move on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wasting my time. I got burnt. It doesn't matter. Can't do shit to me. Oh, wait. That's a water type. That's a water type. That's a water type. That is a water type. That is a water type. Oh, we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. Burnt. That's a water type. We need to go. Um. Oh, fuck. Uh, what do I do, actually? What moves do you know? I think I'm screwed. Fuck it.
Fuck! Leave me alone! Yeah, this thing has levitate. We made it! We made it! We made it! Woo! Listen time too. I just ran out of music. How many elixirs do I have? Uh, a lot. Yes. Okay, good. Good. Yes. 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 Okay. So, the strategy. Pokemon Center to get your moves back? Nah, that's why I have fucking elixir. We got that good stuff, baby. We don't need to go back. We don't need it. We don't need it. Okay, so here's my plan. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Go in with Cockroc. Kill. I mean, I mean, I kill one Mon. I get a boost of attack power. So as long as I could do that, then I think we're good. I'm just gonna crunch him, uh, and we should be fine. If I need to switch out to somebody who's super defensive, Kookings. Kookings is mad defensive. They're really good for this gym too. So like, you know, I I'm not nervous about this at all sand lover just could maybe i don't know maybe perhaps all right let's do it did the fantastic speed leave you dizzy my beloved pokemon will be the next one to make your head spin two sentences Ready to scrap. Love it. That is six months. Okay, so she starts out with Emolga. Emolga, I cannot hit with Earthquake, obviously. I'm going to have to rely on crunches. Crunches and foul plays. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm faster somehow. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm somehow faster. Oh, fuck. That was not good. That was not good. We don't like that. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I will be going for a protect. I don't know what this mod wants to do. I need to get a little HP back. Focus Blast. Oh, that is terrifying. That is terrifying. Uh, fucking let's hope that Earthquake kills it. Please, oh my god, kill it. That'd be nice. Yes. The match is won. No, I won. <laughs> I won. I won. That Moxie shit. No, I won. <laughs> Unless one of our Pokemon has like a Poké Sash, I won. Clear shot, I won. Raichu. Okay, Raichu might be faster than me. Uh, and it might have Focus Blast. Fuck it. Oh, let's go. I won. Hey, somebody type GG's to Alyssa. Bunga Bunga Phoenix says, <laughs> with handshaking anticipation like a... <laughs> okay, I am plus two attack. Um... Ah! ah no! Wait, 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 live! Live, 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 No, no, hit, please. Oh my God, no. Yes! Okay, so it's not as a clear, it's not a clear win. It's not a clear win anymore. Okay, all right, all right, okay, all right. That was faster than me. All right, we need to return now. But Cockrock, Cockrock did take out three Pokemon. 
and injured one, so I I have to I, I gotta get out. Which is a good thing because Emoka is going to heal up. Emoga is going to heal. There, there's no shot Emoga does not take this turn to heal. <laughs> I, I need to go to Cool Kings. Or I could risk it. I could risk it though. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Go to Cool Kings. The bad thing is, I forgot to teach Cool Kings Protect. Yeah, I forgot to teach it Protect. Ah, oh, goddammit. I could go to Sassy Frass. Honestly, go to Sassy Frass. I'll hit, I'll hit everything and anything with a flamethrower. Uh, Tori Specs flamethrower. But if I need to return, I have that opportunity. I propose it. There we go. All right, knew it. Uh, flamethrower. Die? No, no, this thing is not living. Nah, there we go. They just gave me a free turn to switch out. I knew it! Also, this Pokemon is faster, I think? No, nope, never mind, get fucked! Hey, but die though. Guys! Guys! Zep Striker. Okay, Zep Striker is not strong enough to take me out of one hit. I'll say it. I I'll be the one to say it. Thank the Oh, but perhaps. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yes! Let's go. I didn't even need to bring out Steelix for that. Holy fuck. Give me the badge. Give me the badge. Give me the badge. My, oh my. You have a sweet fighting style. Yeah, if you want to call it that. I mean, you're great. You're a great trainer. Excuse me. I, uh... Oh, here. I want you to have this. Victory Monkey Screech! We did it! If you have your badges, including uh, this, Bolt Badge, Pokemon up to level 50, including trained, uh, traded Pokemon, will obey you. Also, here, okay, I'll just gonna match A for that. Appreciate it. I'm out of here. Good games, easy. And we still got Steelix. And, oh, baby, we still got Steelix. I ain't gonna front. I got a little scared of that signal beam. That signal beam kind of signaled my asshole to clinch up. Please nobody fight me. Please nobody fight me. I am very fragile. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Okay, on to the next city. I kind of want to have these Pokemon with... No, 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 no. I, um... I want to get my Swampert again. Or not Swampert, but, uh... The, the fucking Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch! Don't touch me, I'm sterile. <laughs> Okay, we're moving. I would go through the this thing right here. No, why? I won, then I lost. Gear Station has trainer uh, has trains where you could battle other trainers. The subway, uh, the battle subway. 
You're a trainer, aren't you? Please just accept this without a word. Damn, hey, hey she gave up. <laughs> Fuck. If you have a versus recorder, you can record battles with uh, friends or the battle subway. Anyways, this woman of mystery will go somewhere. That's right. She'll go to the battle institution institute. Fair, fair, fair. I will go through here. I love the music here. I love it so much. It sounds like this sounds like the version of like a like if Pokemon was going to make a fork uh Toyota commercial. Does that make sense? Like um Let me see if I can look up a script. Wait. Isn't Jenna Swap Faker is is in here? What? I'm trying to look up like a, a four commercial script. <laughs> Man, this is the best I got. God, all right. Do you like big cars, big tires, and free money? Come on down to Ford, Ford Motors, for a 2019 summer sale event. We offer the best customer care right down to the uh, row along with the tons of new, I can't do this anymore. I can't, I, we're playing the game. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. God damn it. No person, the main character. Uh, ah, uh, maybe. I think. Cool ranch. Cool ranch. Bro, we can just move on to the next city. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna move on to the next city. Uh, I could go through here and beat a bunch of people up. So we're gonna do that. Dude, I used to battle so many trainers every day in this one area, so many times. Like black and white, I want to say, is one of the Pokemon games that I put some of the most hours in. The Pokemon I used the most, it was my uh, Lucario. Because I didn't really understand how to make him stronger. I was just willing to put the hours in. So, like, EV training and stuff, I didn't really understand. What I would do is I would use a move a lot of times. Like, a bunch of times. Honestly, we can get to the Pokemon World Tournament next game. I'll be so excited. Okay, so we got to make a rule. We got we have to actually make a rule. In, in, in Nuzlocke, or at least Lead Locks, if you're in like a Battle Tower situation where the thing is you're supposed to lose, that doesn't count for a game wipe. And you know what? No, it doesn't because you don't, you don't wipe. You literally do not wipe. Like if you lose, it's like, okay, well, you just go back over there. You don't even go to, go to the Pokemon Center. And hey, never mind. All right, we're good. We're good.
Oh, fuck. I'm more like, fuck it! Easy clap. Okay, we're moving on to the next city. I think the next city is Clay City, right? <gasps> oh, baby. Everybody get a dance emote ready. Fuck! No, I don't want to fight you. God damn it. Dog, the rivals in this game are relentless. They they will fight you every chance they get. Every chance they get, they will scrap with you. Oh, no. Nah, we got to return. Fuck that. Fuck this. Nah. Nah, you, you got a devious plan for my ass. I, I ain't ready for that. Uh, Who's ready for... You got close combat? I could go Q Kings. Go Kings! Only, did you see the, uh, see a little of the Sage trailer? No, I did not. Not yet. Fuck! Why would you use that? I saw dances? Good. Rock Tom. Oh, I live these. Don't worry. Hey! Hey! Not again. Not another one, though. Minus four defense. Nah, you're not living that. How did you live that? Bullshit. Dude, keep King. Cool Kings. Cool Kings. We, we need to talk. We need to talk. God. Damn it. Get me out of here. Prince! Fuck! I fucking hate this guy. I I, I hate this guy. Flamethrower. Sassy Frass! Nicholas? Oh, look at. Would you look at the time, bro? Would you look at the time, bro? Oh, I, I gotta, I gotta go, man. Uh, cool ranch. Oh, no, I eat those. I eat those. Take a sword. Eat those. <laughs> Superior. Ooh, would you look at the time, bro? I gotta go. Uh, Prince? Yeah, Prince. Prince is perfect. Prince about to pop that ass. Slam! God damn it. Um. Let's bomb. Yes. No. Wait. It lowered. Oh, it has the fucking, it has that one ability, uh, contrary, right? Is that what is, really? Wait, let me see. Attack fail, defense fail, accuracy fail. Damn, you're dog shit. <laughs> Damn, you suck. Grass baby, no, grass baby, yes. This thing might know Ice Beam, and that terrifies me. Cool Ranch!
Aqua Tail? No. No, we don't need that. Ooh, I, I, I don't want smoke. Damn. Funny how that works. It, it is hilarious how that works. Damn, I, I don't want to fight you. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking Land Chop. Damn, I actually don't know. Uh, do I want to try and take a hit? Cause Land Chop has to tank two hits. Uh, cause they're slower. You know what? Fuck it! Oh, oh, gravity. Die. Oh, thank God. Whoa, that's the champion. Oh, he can in my run run right now. Oh, no. Who is this man? This is Elder, the Unova region's champion. Champion? Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young person. Are you not? Yeah, he's a fucking judgmental asshole. He's somehow my friend. My name is Elder. I'm the Unova Pokemon League champion. He can do whatever the fuck he want, apparently. Pleased to make your acquaintance. For your information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Um, I'm Sharon, uh, from Nuvema Town. My goal uh, as a trainer is to become the champion. Hmm. Traveling with a goal in mind is a commemorable thing. And what do you plan to do becoming after the champion? Uptight asks. What else is there, uh, is there other than striving to become stronger? The strongest trainer, that's the trainer, that's the champion. Hmm, becoming stronger. Becoming stronger, you say? Is that a, uh, alone enough to of a goal? Hmm. It's not that it's, I'm not. I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong. I'm in my travels. I've helped many people lo learn to love Pokemon, and think that's important too. If you play with those children, you might gain more understanding. Will you two have a Pokemon battle with these two? Hey, you two. Come here for a moment. Understood. But before that, thanks. Okay, let's battle. Oh, here I go, hard carrying another person. Go, Cool Ranch, go! Kids got some strong ass mons. Hey, if they aim at the star right there, this this little child took out uh Okay, never mind, they suck. Yep, just had a hard carry, nothing no big special. No no big deal, you know. My Pokemon is so cute. Oh, Nicely done. You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokemon looked like they were having fun. Young no, man, if there are people out there, uh, out, if there are people like you who pursue strength, there are also people who's, uh, who are happy just being with Pokemon. There are many different people in 
and many different answers. When it comes to what a champion should be, you and I may hold different views, but so, uh, but so be it. Give it some thought. Let's roll, the Dripfield um, drawbridge is just ahead. The champion is as strong as the strong. That's all there is to it. Oh. Now I gotta fight the baker before I get some baked goods. I think this the first nerd that actually becomes stronger I ever saw when I was a kid. Yeah, I think you're right. Much likes. Whoa, I have answers for that. Take this. Oh, we get a Pokemon over here. Also, we get a trainer battle. Okay, all right, sure. I don't want to return. I I, I, I kind of want to return. Psych! Who do we get? Who do we get? Who do we get? Oh, so Los is okay. No, I'm down with this. Fuck yes. What do we name him? Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm scared. Oh! Lamb Chop, go! What, baby? That's the best we got. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Just stay in the ball. Be cool. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Fuck yes. I mean... Hear me out. Hear me out. Not the best one, just... Hey, but imagine a shiny. Imagine if this was a shiny. Imagine. Uh, if it has imposter, I'm gonna be mad. I'm mad!
Oh wait, I'm gonna die. Uh, somebody get back. Hey, some, someone get over here. Someone, someone, someone help now. So, some, someone please help. So, someone, uh, fucking pr Prince, Prince, go. Wait, Prince might die. Oh, oh wait, wait, pr pr Prince might actually die. Where's the Prince is gonna die. Prince, please be faster. Please, yes. Oh, it's 30, right. I, I kind of forgot these Pokemon can have that. Uh, Aerial Ace. <laughs> He's shit. Useless. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mash A. Yes, bro. No repels. What a relaxing bridge. Just a precursor for 
The storm is coming. I remember staying out. Like, I remember like just getting all these feathers, as many feathers as I could. Just spending hours on this bridge. Oh, baby, here it comes. Hey! Cody Wiggly's in chat. What happened? I wasn't paying attention. No, I don't want to learn about rotation battles. You know what? Fuck. Uh, Clay is a ground type gym leader. Uh, if I go in there with my little Steelix, I uh, probably I'm probably gonna get rocks. Oh, 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 oh. So we're gonna remedy this problem right quick. Cause yeah, I got my I got my otter. I got Cool Ranch, you know. I might be able to uh, to fish over here. But if anything, I need to take out um, you. I'm putting this one in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could evolve you, then yes, but I don't know, something's weird. Oh, you're at 26? Oh, shit. Theme dude, no. We gotta get you up there. I don't know what the level cap is, but last time I saw somebody, they were like, they were like at level 38. 38, I th think it's a good number. I don't feel like looking up the level cap right now.
people who visit them. Oh, it's a truck! News under here. You had to believe me. A kid on the playground told me so. The next important level cap is 45. Damn! 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 Get him up to level 42 just in case. Wait, cold storage? Oh yeah, right, I gotta go in cold storage. Uh, I should've bought a fire type, god damn it. I do got beam dude. Beam dude, uh, I mean, just Thunderbolt and everything should work. 44, my bad? Ah, thanks. Nah, 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 just in case, we're, we're going back, we're going back, we're going back, I need my monkey, I need the monkey! After that, and is going to battle with you uh, with a bunch of Rotoms. A bunch of Rotoms at level 47. Okay, thank you for the information. I'll go ahead and put Sassy Frass up front. Ooh, new Pokemon. Wait, wait so. This is This is Dripville City. This is Cold Storage. So this whole area this is cold storage, okay. Uh. And then Skyla is at level 56 and she's a triple battle. Damn. All right, I got you. Appreciate the information, honest to God, I do. I ain't confirm when I say this. I, I kinda wanna like, take a break and make myself an egg sandwich. Like a fried egg sandwich. I have burger buns already defrosted and shit. I I'm honest to God thinking about it.
I'm sending over the teens. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Like, so if I can, if I like put the beer at best, cause, cause, okay. So before I cut stream, I would very much like to be uh, this next gym leader, right? Maybe even get to the next city. Which, which, sh should I make an egg sandwich? Like fried, just fry one egg, toast the buns. You know what I'm saying? I got some, I can fry, I got some vegan bacon. Maybe throw some avocado slices with it. Should I? Fuck. Uh, this mom might have flash fire. I'm just, I'm just gonna return. Uh, I got Cool Ranch though. Cool Ranch! Cool Ranch! Make you a whole dinner man if you want. That's the wrong hole. Yeah, you do bring up a valid point. I should have made myself a whole goddamn sandwich. God. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'll be back. I'll be back. I just I need to get something to eat. I'm hungry.
Everybody, quick, hang on. Get your get your pogs ready. Get, get your poggers ready. I, I have a sandwich. I, it's an egg sandwich with like vegan bacon. I, I'm so hung. I, I feel so happy. I feel so happy right now. Hang on. I, I'm gonna take one quick bite. God damn. I could cry, I'm so hungry. Fool me, quick question. When's your uh, when's your next stream? Fuck. Fuck. Maybe next week? Nice. I've been missing out on my Pumi, um, daily Pumi content. I have an event next week, Sage. I'm so happy for you. I really am. I'm so happy for you and I'm so proud of you. The one thing I love about your art is that you... You spread it around. And you know what? Thank you. Holy fuck. Lee needs their plumy fix. I always need my plumy fix. too particular on how I go with um uh, fried eggs <clears throat> but I will say this I remember one day right my grandpa um my grandpa asked me to make him an uh, egg sandwich right or like a fried egg I was like yeah sure he got he asked me if I um if he was like hey can you like uh, make it runny I was like, runny? See, he's, he says, yeah, just like, don't cook the yolk all the way. So I did it for him, and I did it for me. I wanted to try it. I got hooked. <laughs> I, I got hooked on runny eggs. It sounds gross, and it, I think it is, but it's so good. Another egg-related story. Uh, one of my um, One of my sisters did track, right? I mean, she was like really good, right? Got scholarships and all. So uh, one day, uh, I, I, I like I used to wake up with her at like 4 a.m. to go running with her, right? And um, when I was, she, I remember one day, right? She woke me up and she was like, "Hey, Lee, take this." And she gave me an egg and she was like, "We're gonna eat this whole." Like she just said, "We're just gonna crack it into our mouths," right? And I was like, oh, "Okay, you know, it's 4 a.m. me, right?" I'm like, "Okay." So I crack it open, eat it, right? I just swallowed the damn thing. My sister held it in her mouth. She switched it around a little bit, threw it back up. <laughs> and she asked me, how did you eat it? And I was like, I just swallowed it. That's it. Can you ever go back from runny eggs? I mean, when you fuck up. When you like leave them there, and it's the morning, so you don't really care. That's how you go back. <laughs> that is exactly how you go back. <clears throat> like, I'm really good at cooking eggs. You know, like omelets, um, French omelets, country style omelets, whatever you want. But if I ever make myself a country style omelet, well, um, 
A French style omelet. I am always mentally prepared to be okay with the French country style omelet. Does that make any sense? <laughs> it's it's in the morning. I got work in like a few minutes. Hey, look, I I, I don't care. There's there's there comes a certain point where it's like, man, fuck it. Oh fuck, wait, 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 wait. Oh fuck! Oh, thank god you suck. Okay. Do y'all take out eggs hard, uh, hard or running? Because with me, it's like, I'll go for running. But if it's like, hey, I accidentally overcooked them. Oops, fuck, my bad. It's the first meal I made for the morning. Ooh, whatever. Um, I'll say fuck it. It's gonna sound weird, but I've always wondered how eggs taste. Because I'm allergic to uh, just how to just eggs by themselves. Not weird. It's not weird to be allergic to anything. Like most of my friends are like lactose intolerant, you know, so it's not it's nothing weird about it. Um I can't really describe what eggs taste like, but uh, damn, I actually can't describe it. Ask you about, yo, how do eggs taste? Yo, oh, oh, you know, you know, you know. Um, there's actually a solution for this. Uh, so at your grocery store, right? There's probably gonna be like this, this like uh, egg substitute. It's called um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a a, a vegan egg, right? Um, <clears throat> it's not egg, but it's like a substitute for egg. Uh, I honestly would recommend eating it. Uh, trying it out. It's really good stuff. I'm not even kidding. Like I used to make that for my uh for my vegan friends. Oh fuck! Oh, okay. So I constantly ask my mom, how do they taste? And she'll just look at me trying to come up with an answer and say, it tastes like egg. Yeah, I like your mom. Um, <clears throat> oh, honestly, just get like an egg substitute. You'll find out real fast. Cause I eat both. You know, especially when my roommates were like vegan. You know, I wasn't getting that much like, uh, I wasn't getting that many like animal byproducts, like eggs or honey when I was like living with them. I got, you know, no, no, I, I, I got honey. I just never got anything like, you know, eggs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and instead of eggs, I would get like eggs, eggs, those are two. I, I, I eat both, you know, and I'll say right now, they taste very similar. 
Like I'll say like the the egg substitute has a different texture to it. It's slightly different, but it's hard to notice. Uh, but they taste the same. So if you ever want to like find out, just you know maybe fuck around. Ready to battle. Yeah, man. Golden here. By the way, I need to hurry the fuck up out of here. Look what I'm wearing. Buddy got on a vest and some short shorts. Nah, I need to get out of here. Buddy's gonna catch COVID too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta be right back. I gotta make myself another one. I'm kidding. Don't worry. <laughs> Imagine though. You know what? This place is gold. Dude, wait. I think I just remembered something. In Black and White 2, there were wild Pokemon in here. Not Black and White 1. All of you all around me. I can't take this cold. Whatever. I can't believe you were really hiding. It's a bother, but if you're cold, sh shall I show you the outside? <laughs> Pokemon are our king's friends. While we're taking care of them, we can't let any harm come to them. Uh, here, everyone drive these intruders out. Understood. Zip the fucking. That's a lot of niggas. Lee, I'll t Lee let's take care of each one on. on Alright. Oh. Alright, who's first? I'm gonna say right now. Y'all better jump me. Right now. Y'all better jump me. Clover, how you doing? I like how they don't uh, don't even double battle or even triple battle. Like a triple battle would make total sense. They're not. They're not even trying. Hey, hey. COVID to electric sneeze at you. Ha! Oof, COVID, yeah. Oops, uh. Oops, I like where to put it. I like where to put it. But, Clover, how you doing today? This dude team is trash! Good, nice. Okay, so for those of you who are just joining, uh, I am going to, so as we know, I have 11 as an editor, and that's not going to change anytime soon. As long as 11 is willing to put up with my shit, I'm down to keep hiring her. Every single time, as soon as she's done one one video, I hire her again. With that being said, I'm going to hire a few editors to get like a few videos out. As we know, I got a Cuphead video, a Radical Red video, a Hollow Knight video, a few uh, Farmageddon videos, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles videos that are not being produced right now. You know, right now she's getting, Eleven is getting ready to be done with one video. 
<clears throat> sorry, one video. It's uh, the um, my first playthrough of Metal Gear Rising. So, uh, that should be out tomorrow, I think. But yeah, I, I am going to be uh, hiring a few other editors every now and again. Just a few other ones. Because I, I do have a few things that uh, need to be produced or I want to produce. You know, the Farmageddon video we did like last, like what, a couple weeks ago? You know, things like that. And I, I kind of want to have someone consistently to consistently put out like Pokemon Black videos. Or Blaze Black. Who wants a trainer sickle? What? I could never be an editor. I feel you. It's not an easy job. You know? That's why I'm thankful for the, um, for uh, my editor. By the way, hey, editor. What's up? But are you still on the first one? Damn, keep up! Dude, I remember I used to edit my own videos. So when I first started streaming, I was like, you know, I'm going to edit. I'm going to, like, put a video on every day. And no. <laughs> no, fuck that. I'm working a full-time job. Fuck this. I got a dog to take care of. No, I cannot. Sassy Fraz, let's go, baby. Wow, Bing. Hiding in a chilly place like this. You guys take these Pokemon robbers. Roger. Come on. Damn, get fucked. You guys ain't so bad. Yep, a promise is a promise. Come on and challenge and meet my gym. <laughs> Whatever. Team Plasma's ideal. Separating people and Pokemon. It's exactly the same as not having Pokemon in this world at all. That a bunch, that a bunch is a waste of oxygen. Lee is cold, and so I'm getting out of here. I like how the gym leader actually matters in black and white. That is such an important thing that I, I wanted to say like an hour ago, but I just never really found the opportunity to do so. Gym leaders are so important in this game. That they're not like just sitting back, relaxing, and just waiting for like you know a ten year old to solve all the damn problems. No, they they're partnering up with you, or or they're like doing things for you or whatever the fuck. They're actually involving themselves in the story. Like, I do like how red and blue and yellow were just, or the earlier games were like, hey, look, you have to do it. You know, you're a 10 year old solving all these problems. That's kind of dope, right? But having like all these gym leaders partner up with you is so cool. Also, let's get a Pokemon. Wait, 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 can I fish here? If I could fish here, I'd rather get a water type than like a Pokemon that might not be the water type. Does that make sense? Cause I have two incredibly strong water types right now. They're kind of fucking fucking. But if I could have three, ooh, ooh, oh, oh, oh. Lance was the first champion to actually do anything. Yeah, and cold. I remember. He was the champion getting shit done. Hyper beaming human beings. <laughs> I would say the next time this happens is Sword and Shield, but no, just no. No, 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 no. Uh, Sword and Shield had, okay, so like where red, blue, and yellow, you was doing everything, and Sword and Shield, the adults were doing everything. You know what I'm saying? So like there were many times where it was like two times where it was like, hey, th there's something that should be done, and uh, Leon was just like, no, hang on, I got this, don't worry about it. I'm the champion, you guys just 
Go on your little event. Go on your adventure. I got this. I, I kind of like how they did it, but at the same time, it's like I wanted to see what was happening and I wanted to be involved in the story. Ah, fuck. Like, I think it's cool how Sword and Shield did it, but at the same time, it's like I'd much rather involve myself in the story. And also, understandably, have the adults handle the situation, or help handle the situation, because, hey, th they're the adults, you know? Also, I ran out of flamethrowers. Uh... Leon will do everything, not you, and I would like to do some things. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, I, I really do, um, I don't know. Like, they didn't involve you until they, they really needed to involve you. Now it's like a world ending crisis was happening. Yeah, yeah, Earthquake. Oh, a bug type move on a Pokemon that's not a bug type. Oh, okay, die. Oh, how am I faster than you? No, that's not right. That's not right. That don't even make no damn sense. That. That I could win. Oh. A truck! Wait! Mew could be under here! Mew! Please! Tell me your secrets! Can I fish right here, by the way? Hang on. Hey, but imagine. But but imagine though. I I imagine. Imagine. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I I I had to try. Ooh. I am living off a of popcorn, popcorn and cake right now. God, no. Why? Uh, is it by choice or do you have to? What, what, what's going on here? Was just my birthday. Oh, nice. Clover, happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. And we get a Pokemon. Oh, dog. Yes. Hurtier. Okay. Uh, we'll, Don't even come up with names. Do not come up with nicknames. I'm coming up with a uh, with nickname, nickname right now. That dog in him. Is their name? His name is that dog in him. Scratch. Puppers? No, stop, stop. Shh. No, cut it out, cut it out. Name is Puppers? No, it's, it's that dog in him. I love Sword and Shield, but I don't like how um how did no how I did nothing. It was almost like we were going on a vacation while shit was going down. No, it's almost as though you were a kid. <laughs> that, that that's all it was. It's that, that you're a kid and there are adults handling the situation. I would rat I do agree with you though. Uh, Cause it's like I do agree that like I I want to play the game, I I want to be involved in the story. No matter the age of the character that I'm playing as, no matter the age of this avatar I'm playing as, 
but I kind of get it. It was kind of it was kind of a neat role to play as like, oh yeah, it, it, it was just a big reminder that, oh yeah, you're playing as a fucking 10 year old. But I do agree. I do. I did want to involve myself in the story more. There was some shit going on behind the scenes. That I was like, hey, man, just, just let me on through. Let me on through. Come on. Just play as an adult, maybe in the game. No, no, no. Because Pokemon is like, it's I mean, like, I, I'm not a, totally against it or anything. Because like a Pokemon MMO would be dope as fuck. And where you can like design a character or whatever. I don't know. But it's like Pokemon, at least the main games are like just they're mostly like. It, it, it's a coming of age story. You know, that, that's mostly what Pokemon games are. It's just your coming of age. Your kids is about to grow up a little. Also the kids games, so you know. I guess so, yeah. That dog. And, um. Oh, he got that dog in him. Purpose that hurt. No, it's that dog in him. God damn it. <laughs> Imagine a Pokemon added an age slider, and if you go above 18, the whole story changes. <laughs> yeah, it gets like harder or some shit. You got a job now, you got fucking taxes, anxiety. Puppers, Puppers the third. No, no. The, the, the next dog. How about this? The next dog. The next dog Pokemon. Sure, I, I, I'll think about it. But no, this one is that dog in him, cause he got that dog in him. God damn it. <laughs> I named Puppers the first snowman. Okay. You know what? Yeah, no arguments. It will most likely uh, never happen, but it would be funny. I <laughs> Just you put it up. Oh, yeah, I'm 21. Oh, yeah, here comes taxes. <laughs> then Puppers the first die, and we're, we're, we're talking. We're, okay, we're talking too much. No, 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 no. It, another snowman. I don't have a snowman. Wrong game. Pillow Swan. Wait, I got an answer for this. Stop it! Oh, I got a question. Hey, who plays Dragon Ball Fighters? Scratch him. Scratch him. Scratch him. Yes.
<sighs> okay. Uh, so we need a strategy. We we need a plan. We need a plan. Now I'm just imagining Clover, uh, Clover catching a dog, naming it Puppers, and uh, challenging them at uh, that dog and th them to death. Wave vent. Okay. I, I I can't read. God damn it. Uh, you would never do such a thing, would you, Clover? I know these two, this one, and this one, most definitely coming in there with me. They're, they're gonna be the, uh, the, the, like, my crutches. Sassy Frass, Sassy Frass.